how are we all doing? Uh, I have no plan for the stream. Uh, I just figured that we'd go live and we'll just we'll just do dumb shit. There's one thing I wanted to check out. Um, but I, I didn't really have a plan. I, I got a sponsor in two hours. I have to be up late. I was like, all right, fuck it. I'll just go live. Uh, I did see this funny thing on Twitter, though. <laughs> that I, I really wanted to talk about. It made me laugh so fucking much. And I want to share it with you guys because I found it hilarious. And I need you guys to see this. What happened? Oh, right. Yeah, you guys in this time zone. Cease, Connor. What have I done? You want to go McDonald's? Bro, my mod eats McDonald's every day. Right? And he's like, nah, I'm good though. Like, I'm healthy. It's <laughs> like, are you? <laughs> That's so cope. That's so cope. Just like me. I just, <laughs> you just, you cannot. You, you physically just cannot. It's, it's like pouring grease down a drain. Like, yeah, sure, you can do it five days in a row and nothing's gonna happen. But three months from now, that shit's gonna be clogged. Clogged. Why is Connor's little bro streaming? That's true. Is it finally monk time? I happy. Yo, what's up? Yeah, I, I haven't streamed this lane in a very long time, actually. So, um... What's up? What's up, what's up? Didn't know Connor had a little bro, let alone in Japan. We get it done. Little bro, I got a little bro. Who's got a little bro? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so, <laughs> I was, okay, I'll wait for the ad. I'll wait for the ad to finish. I don't know why two ads played, but we have ads. We have plenty of ads. I have the best ads on Twitch. <laughs> um, When's the next IRL drinking stream? I actually have wanted to do one for a while. I just, I just want to do something good for it. But I do really hey, want to. I've been. I've I been sadly missed the concert and one. can't find it on Mouse's VODs. Is it not there? I had a pimple here. This came out of nowhere today, huh? Uh, it's going up tomorrow. I think Mouse waiting for the 4K version. Uh, it'll be up. But we all. Okay, you guys all have to go watch when it comes up, right? Because Mouse is like. Because Mouse has taken it down. Mouse didn't realize it wasn't 1080p, it was, it was in 4K. So we all have to go watch it when it comes out, right? To make sure the algorithm recommends it. Right? So when it comes out, we have to watch it again. Even if we watched it live, which I did, we have to watch it again. We open it up, put the volume at middle, walk away if you need to. You need to make the algorithm work. Second mod of the content. We play it all day tomorrow. Um, Right, so... <laughs> I was on Twitter, right? And look at this thing. I, I saw this tweet. It's actually fucked. All right, so here's the tweet. Here's the tweet, right? Uh, <laughs> it goes like, for an art lover like myself, this place is a slice of heaven. Let me show you this. Have you seen this? Let me show you this. Let me show you this. Look at this. For an art lover like myself, this is a slice of heaven, he says. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking ugly. <laughs> like how bad it is. <laughs> what is that? Like what is that? For an odd lover like myself, this place is a slice of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's so bad. It's like someone made NFTs real. And so I got, I got curious. I got curious. How much do you think this is, chat? Throw some numbers out. Throw some numbers out. How much do you think this is, huh? How much do you think this is? Uh, 10K. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Let me show you how much it costs. $43,000! <laughs> For like a, like a, like a, a lion smoking a cigar. All right, okay. Dutch modern art. Okay. So I got curious. I was like, all right, well, like what else? What else do they got? Because clearly these guys, <laughs> these guys know art. Like they just get it. So I found their TikTok. And I just thought, like, let's have a look at some of these, right? Like, let's just have a look at some of the modern art. <laughs> <Rubico>. <laughs> look at it. 
<laughs> it's fucking hideous. It's so hideous. Lost chat. <laughs> Guess I'm... 35,000 euros! Absolutely horrific. There was one other one that was so funny. Okay. Uh, l l like, what is this? <laughs> like, okay, actually, this go hard. This goes hard. Okay, actually, this does go hard. All right, actually, no, this is okay. No, actually, this goes hard. Uh, 16,000 euros, about 20k USD. What's the most horrific piece they got? The, what is the. Is this even legal? This just this just doesn't even. This just, this just doesn't. This just doesn't even look. Like what is this? Is horrific. Like this is just bad. Like this is not good. How much is this? What is this? Like this is that's bad. Like I don't know how to. Ah, who? Like I'm sorry. This is not good. The monkey is fifty k. This is 50k? No. No. <laughs> no, it looks so bad. It doesn't even look good. It looks bad. It just doesn't look good, chat. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> It's so bad. Animal. Okay, let's go animal. Oh my god. Monkey business. 4K. This is so awful. 10K for a king slayer. It's just shit, isn't it? Add a cigar. Literally just a Peaky Blinders. <laughs> literally, literally just Killian Murphy. How much did it go for? <laughs> it's just like, 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 damn, this goes hard. Damn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna screenshot Peaky Blinders <laughs> and, and, and charge 500k. Okay, that, what is this? There's gonna be pop, uh, portraits, right? It's portraits. Okay, like, what the fuck? That's ba that's not good. Where's the Killian Murphy one? I want to know how much I can get Oppenheimer. Oh, Booba. <laughs> this uh, 3D masterpiece. <laughs> no! <laughs> this looks awful. Okay, it actually does it. Okay, it protrudes. That's okay. That's actually kind of impressive. I'll give them that. Okay, that's actually not bad. But I think calling it a masterpiece. Any chance of a Monster Hunter World stream collab with Iron Mouse and Zanthreya? I don't want to do any more Monster Hunter. I played that game. I do not want to. Okay, actually though, that's actually impressive. All right, that's worth. Okay, that's worth twenty Gs. Right, you, that one can stay. That one can stay. I just the Killian Murphy one. Come on, you just painted Killian Murphy. I, that has to be not fair. That's got to be breaking some law. What is okay? <laughs> like, like no. <nah. laughs> <laughs> this is just so bad. No, no, that's awful. That's horrific. Uh, I could, I could, I could, I'll pay you not to sell that. Like, oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off. This is the <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> okay, that's actually the most hideous singular thing I've seen in my life. That is the single most hideous thing I've ever seen. Um, I imagine not only do you, like, is this genuinely like g genuine question? Can you even sell like is this like all the brands are on here? You've got you're absolutely breaking copyright. This is not a transformative in any way. Uh, this is horrific. I, I need to know how much this is. I'm gonna type a Space Jam. Van Gogh came up. Okay, maybe there's a... 
All right, do we have this one? This one's got to be here. If it's not under Space Jam, what is this under? Bugs Bunny? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, something Bugs Bunny. Is it a scam? This looks like a scam. It's so bad. Okay. <laughs> Back order? Three. Just a literal rocket. A, a rocket. Just <laughs> like, like, it's definitely a scam. No, no, it's Dutch modern art. Okay, let's find out about them. Oh, perfect. Okay, we're well, CSJ Gallery. Okay. All right. That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh, gosh. Okay, what is it? Uh, it's all in Dutch. All right, well, fuck me. It's so, it's awful. This is so, <laughs> like, <laughs> what in the flea market dog shit is this? None of this is art. Absolute cringe. <laughs> this looks like a flea market. This is so bad. I'm Dutch. I will translate. I don't think I need a. I don't think I need the translation. I just, I just saw this and I was so offended. I I just it, it, like what fifty k fifty k bullet symphony. Okay, so you put a you put it like some some bullets in resin. Okay, the resin's a clean job. I mean, given but like. I, I don't, I don't think this is cool. It's 12k. This has to be, this has to be money laundering. This, there's no shot. Okay, let's have a look. Connor clearly doesn't know art. Muhammad Ali, okay. Okay, they just made they just made Muhammad Ali a JoJo character. <laughs> okay, this looks like something you'd see on like 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 an Andrew Tate wall. It's like yeah, it's just uh, what is this? Ah, it just goes hard. Uh, how much it cost? Seventy thousand dollars. Why? Because I can. It's like okay. This one, this is their most liked hundred. That is not enough rapping. What the fuck? No. <laughs> that is, this has been sold. This has been sold to a customer in Portugal. <laughs> Bro, assembly is going to be required when they get there. There is no shot that is making it. She, this is the worst singular rap. I, there is no way. There is no way you you made this and then you wrapped it like this. There's there's no way it's arriving. That is insane. Even she doesn't believe this. She doesn't believe this pain. She doesn't believe this. What is? There's no 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 no. Uh, you should you should have to hand deliver it. Like you should have to drive it from from the Netherlands to Portugal for that price. Like what? There is one that said it was like all it was ugly as sin, and it was just it was just uh, all of them were like diamonds. And it was hideous. I mean, all of this is fucking hideous. All of this. They've been getting they've been crushing it on the likes there. Actually, no, they they fell off. Daffy made from Angela Gome. What is this? Okay, so they're using Swarovski. Okay, yeah, all right. Why? All right, step one. Step one. Buy a $20 Daffy Duck thing off Amazon. <laughs> step two. Get these bullshit crystals. Put them on it. This, like, what is this music? <laughs> okay. This is thirteen thousand dollars. 
<laughs> this is 13. How much is Swarovski crystals? How much? Uh, how many can I buy? If I was buying like a bunch, they are expensive. Yeah, but I feel like just putting crystals on something doesn't make it cool. And not, nor is that art. That's not even remotely transformative. In any like, I feel like you are not making anything. You're just sticking expensive. This is like when they put gold on a stake. It, it's shit. I'm buying it though. I I I am. I have already bought four. Um, <clears throat> how much? Okay, how how much is uh one thousand uh crystals? How much can I can I buy a thousand? If I wanted to buy a thousand crystals, how much would they cost? Because it presumably can't be more than fifteen thousand, which is thirteen thousand, which is what this is charging, right? Um, does anyone know? Very cheap. I feel like they're not crazy. Like I feel like they can't be that crazy because the margins must be crazy. Two hundred k USD. No, I didn't buy from them, chat. I did not buy from them. It's just glass, right? It's not actually like. Well, I guess crystal is. Crystal is gra glass. So. It's just fucking awful. This is this is so horrific. I just got so- I just found it so funny when I saw it. I just couldn't stop laughing. Alright, what's this? Tin Tim? The- Tin- isn't- it, isn't it Tin Tin? Is it Tin Tim or Tin Tin? A Tim- Tin Tim, okay. Tin Tin. Why have they spelt it like this? Tin Tim. Okay, let, what do they buy? It was sold to a customer in Morocco. Okay. What are the how, okay? How are we packaging this one? No. So bad. Like you just spray painted it gold. Like what? Like this is. This is this is like garbage. Oh my lord. Oh my god. I, 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 sometimes, you know, when you go to a cafe, I don't know if you've ever seen this, you go to a cafe and you see like the people like selling their artwork on the walls of the cafe. And I'm like, okay, that sounded like 300 bucks. I'm like, okay, that's a lot. But like, at least there's someone, there's a reason, there's a story, there's a connection here. And it looks nice most of the time. It's like, like they should do that, you know? Uh, this is fucking hideous. It's so hideous. Not from this, sorry. I would never, like, this is bad. I Sorry, chat, I gotta upload this Instagram story for the ad tonight. Uh, we're playing, uh... I don't know if I'm allowed to say. I, I think I, they, they, I don't think they want me to... Oh, no, I already tweeted it. No rest of the wicked. It looks cool. There's a lot of people made a door in the blind forest, so we're doing that later, which I'm pumped about. Okay, I need to do a bunch of lengths. Oh, man. This is the worst part about doing these things. It's like, I, I'm so bad at managing all the stuff that I need to add. Uh... And the hashtags. Gotta get the hashtags. We love those. Connor hates art. I love art, but I, I despise like making things expensive for no reason. Um Which I think is Which I think is a fair take. Okay, sorry, chat, I'm doing this thing. I I, I I'm paying attention to you guys. I'm paying I I'm looking at chat. I'm looking. I can't have more than one link. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't want to add more than one link anyway, so that's fine. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> okay, now if I want to copy the, the, the message, I'm going to copy the whole thing. Great. The line, the Japanese messenger, it allows you to click the message, even if it's a giant one, and, and, and like circle where you want to uh, select all, which I appreciate and love. And I hate that WhatsApp doesn't do that. Uh, it drives me insane that it doesn't. Okay, uh, Lang okay, got it. Uh, all right. Got it. Why don't you just Instagram on PC? Okay. Um, because I'm because I hate I hate doing it. My friend's Google Pixel. It is. Yeah, I don't like this one that much. 
Uh, but now I feel like I'm so committed to this year where I'm going to use it until the next generation. I feel like buying a new phone now. Although I do want the Samsung Galaxy um, Ultra S4 for streaming. But I don't think it's out in Japan yet. I just don't think it's out in Japan. I'll get the I'll get the next Pixel when that comes out. Damn it! When are they gonna release this damn phone? The S twenty four Ultra. It's not out. It's not out in Japan yet. Bro, just buy an iPhone. I can import it. Yeah, but I. The problem is if I import it, I need I need a Japanese SIM to work for it, and I don't know if Japanese SIMs work in foreign phones. Even because my my phone is unlocked, but. It's kind of weird how it works because I, I don't really understand like I have an unlocked sim and an unlocked phone But I still have to get them to like authorize it. It's very frustrating um, They do Because I the, So for the next cycle thon the way I kind of envisioned how it could go is that I, if I needed to I could swap between the stuffs whatever reason, but I actually don't think I need to, actually. Did you kind of get its face shaved? I did. I did. This is very complicated. It is. It is. It, I did, it, it, yeah, it is. Uh, hmm. Suppose I'm catching stream live. Watching from work before meetings. Lol. What better time to watch? Um, yeah, I, I also got, a. Uh, someone gave me this game they wanted me to play. Uh, I kind of wanted to check it out. It's like a Japanese learning game. It seemed kind of fun, but I don't know if that sounds like boring to you guys. Um, it's like a, let me show you guys, let me show you guys it. We can do 10 minutes. All right, let's do 10 minutes. Let's do 10 minutes. If it's a snooze fest. If it's a snooze fest, we'll, we'll, we'll call it quits. Um, what is this? All right. I got sent this by the dev. They were very pumped for me to play it. Welcome to Shushing Shingo. Here, you use your camera to create unique photo flashcards for learning Japanese. You're free to explore your surroundings. Study your own pace without any pressure. In what time beside learning a new vocabulary with the camera? Okay, got it. Very loud. So I think the concept is that you just take pictures of things and you learn Japanese that way. Operating the camera. Easy, okay. Okay. Sure. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, pawn machine. Okay, got it. Yeah, that's, that's neat. Saving and discarding. Let me see if I can just save it. I see, so I can... Favorite words. Okay, what if I want to take a picture of the Shingo? Oh, that's kind of neat. Those are the kanji too. Then they got hit by a fucking car. Speaking of which, hey. Kuruma. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. Testing my memory. I'm going to put your memory to the test. Reinforce your vocabulary knowledge. You'll be given one of Japanese words from your photo flashcard and tasked with photo. Oh, photography. Okay, that sounds cool. It's kind of neat. Oh, let's take a picture of the cone. Zankaku Korn. I didn't know that one. I actually didn't know that, so that's helpful. I'm a favorite that one. But I don't know Zankaku Korn. What's, uh, what's this? Benchi. Ah. <laughs> this is... Camera. Camera. This is kind of neat. Uh, 
Uh, what's this? Kanban. Kanban? I don't, I, I don't use that word ever, so that's good to know. Oh. Jidou Hanbaiki. I didn't know that. What the fuck? Jidou Hanbaiki? I've actually never used that word before. Oh. What's this? Shrine? Jinja. I knew that one. You didn't? I, I, I literally never say that word, actually. Uh, this is a word I've never used. Jidou Ban... Jidou Hanbaiki. Jidou Hanbaiki. Jido Hanbai. Gomi? The trash? Ooh. What I call it? I, I actually don't know. I don't think I've ever had a situation where I've been talking about a vending machine. I would find some other way to explain it. That's kind of how I get by. I kind of, if I don't know how to say, I'll find other words to describe it, which is a very inefficient way of doing it, but also it, it helps you memorize the words you do use a lot. Icon. Okay, we all know that one. It's kind of cool. Kind of cute. Jutensha. Let's get a Jutensha in here. Jutensha. There's no shot I'm going to memorize the kanji from this, though. Um, That's cool. It's neat. Oh, we got a stone. Iwa. We love a little Iwa. I know the kanji for that, because I always confuse it with... Uh, the kanji for right. They look very similar. Skateboard. Oh yeah. Skateboard. <laughs> Is she? Yeah, isn't I I I've, I've never said Iwa. I've always heard stone as Ishi. But I think it's tough because sometimes the words that you uh use are different from the ones that you might maybe get taught. Uh, like for some reason, because my mom's trying to learn Japanese, uh, it's very, 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 very cute of her. She's like, oh, I know the word for lawyer. I was like, why, why do you know the word for lawyer? Maido cafe. It's like, what, what on, what possible reason could you need to learn Bengoshi? Because uh, at that time I was like, I was like, yeah, I, I was like, I don't, I don't, I, I've never used that word in like a conversation. Oh, I know that one. We got here. Ah, oh, nice table. Interesting. Uh, word set, random, newest, oldest, peak. Let's do random. Guess attempts, one. Daikon. I have to find a daikon, okay. That's kind of neat. So you can go around and find the word. Uh, so let's go find a daikon. I think it was over here, but I'm gonna, I forgot the layout already. Why is Connor watching a Rob CD stream? <laughs> this is just a Rob CD stream. I think the only thing that's kind of frustrating is that I feel like it would be... Oh, that's really cute, actually. It's kind of slow. You have to walk around and find everything. Remember it? Oh, look at that. Play again. Oh, wow. Isn't that convenient? Benchy. Oh god, I nearly got killed. I nearly got isekai'd. Um, okay, let's return to sta- Oh, I can just return to station. Okay, can I- Let me turn this off. Let me finish. And then let me change the settings. Which station does this look like? This does it look like any particular station? It doesn't really. Uh, what amount? Oh, I can just up it. That's helpful. It'll be like 10. Kankaku corn. Oh, I remember this now. Traffic cone. Yes. Kankaku corn. Kanban? Fuck, what's Kanban again? Uh. 
Kanban. Well, we saw the Kanban machine. They, oh, sign. Right. <laughs> How bad of me. Benchy. Benchy. I was only going through the words I know. That would make sense. It would be mean to not tell me what I don't know. Skateboard. It's kind of neat. Oh, it's a cute dog though. I want to take a picture of that. Right. Maido cafe. Maido cafe. Okay, okay, okay. Naruhodo. I mean, it's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know how much I'd play. I think if you're just starting, it's pretty very fun. I think if you know some of the words. It's really, it's really fine. This is a neat system, though. This is a cool-ass system. Table. Um, table. Frick. No tables here. Cute way to learn some basic nouns. Ah, oh, absolutely. I think so. That's neat. I wonder... Is this the entire area? Right. What's this thing? Can I... I actually don't know the name for this thing. That'd be great to know. Okay, I guess I don't get to know it. I actually don't know the name for this thing either. What is this? Okay, no, okay. no not the not the bakery. I I mean like this thing. Oh, oh, you just call it kokoku? Okay. Senden suru. Senden suru? I actually don't know this. I should I should learn this. Senden suru. Yuko. Miryokuteki. Oh. Senden suru. Wait, this is actually very helpful. Okay. I'm gonna forget that. I already forgot it. Unless I use it right away, I forget. What am I looking at here? Gaito. Gaito. Takai. Wait, why would you? Oh, because it's because it's tall. Akarui. Oh, so these are things to describe it. Okay, got it. And these are not okay. I thought these were ways you could use the word. Okay. Noted. 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 All right, post box. Posto. Todokeru. Posto. Todokeru. I know okoru. okoru. I know jusho. Uh, I don't use this one. Todokeru. Todokeru. I remember this. It's it's kind of impressive because uh, I've gotten. <laughs> you can't when when you when you only have uh conversations uh at bars and hanging out with people, I, there's a lot of words I actually never use that I, would definitely be useful for me to use more often. Zo. Zo. Um. Furui. Furui? That's... <laughs> I get that one a lot. Rekishi. Rekishi? Yeah, that one's good. So that for school subject, people, people ask me what my favorite was, I always say Rekishi. Rekishi teki. Um, having the words go with them. Yeah, it's good. This is this is cute. This is very cute. Okay, I already got a picture of this one. What's this? Ah, Yeah, that's weird because actually, this is the the official word, right? And this is what I always always learned. And then whenever I taught anyone in Japan, it's sieta or sieta. They never say this. I never hear eikakan. Eikakan. Whenever anyone wants to go to the, 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 they go, they either say cinema or theater. People say it? I, bro, I, maybe I'm, I'm around, I'm around the wrong Japanese people. They always say eigakin? That's crazy. What? Am I crazy? Am I around the wrong people? Depends on the person. All of them are valid. Oh my God. See, that's frustrating. Cause I, I, I literally never use that word. Or Toho Cinemas, right? Cause is, is that's the name, Toho Cinemas. So everyone's like, oh, we're going to Toho. We're going to cinema. They say it in anime. Okay, well. I mean, I... 
I know the word, and if I hear it, I know what it is. But I don't use it, and whenever I'm, when I'm in conversation, I never hear it being used. All right, let's have a look at the boshi. Boshi. Oh, shut it! I don't know about that. Nugu. Hmm. All right, let's have a look at uh. Anything else? Oh, the casa. Yes. Casa. To hold. Motsu. Motsu. Nureru. Nureru? Oh, it's kind of cute. Cute game. All right, I feel like I get the gist. Ki. Ki. I think if, uh, I think if you're wanting to learn Japanese and you want a fun way to do it, this is probably a good way. Um. Probably a chill way. Already bored? Well, I just feel that, like, uh, a, a, a lot of this stuff I know. <laughs> Some of it I actually don't know, so maybe I should grind out. Oh, does it have the parking thing? Oh, it does! That's cool. That comes up a lot. Oh, this kanji is a lifesaver. You gotta learn this one, chat. You gotta learn that kanji. The kanji's the goat. That is, if there's, if there's one kanji to learn, <laughs> learn this one. If you see this symbol, it means you're good, chat. It means you can get in the taxi or it means that it's available. Uh, if you see anything else, it's not available. Get fucked. It's just the kanji was good. Yeah, I know, but it, it means what it's available. So whenever you go. You see a taxi or you want to park your car or anything or you know anything that's it means it's just available taxis mate mo mostly it's also red so you actually you actually don't need to learn shit oh inu let's get the inu that's a cute ass dog i didn't know naderu i know fuwa kawa i know that too god he's so cute oh can i take a picture of the phone why doesn't the phone turn up Ah, oh, okay. Let's zoom in. Small. Small. Yeah. I learned it as like, uh, what is it? Uh, not Keitai. Uh, I learned it as something else, but everyone says small. Keitai? Is it Keitai? Yeah, it's Keitai. That's the one. It was Keitai. Because like, when you're, um, oh god, when you have like mobile payments, it's, uh, Keitai, de uh, Kita then what? No, it's like like phone wallet. What is it called? What's wallet again? I forgot it. Something like that. Phone number. Then bangle. I use that one a lot. Saifu? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Saifu Ketai. Ketai Saifu. One of those. Oh. Oh my. I didn't I actually didn't know that was to make a phone call. Kakeru. I always say then masuru. <laughs> My Japanese is weird. What do you mean? What are you talking about? You know nothing, Sam. You know nothing. How dare you talk to me? I, there is more Japanese in my one nail than in your entire being. <laughs> you speak nouns? Yeah, it's, that's kind of how I've gotten by. Okane mochi. Yeah. People say that a lot. Not about me. We're getting there though, champion. <laughs> Money comes up a lot in Japanese conversation. Uh, and if you call yourself a bimbo, you'll always get a laugh. If you, if, I, if you say that, you will always get a laugh chat. So if you want to laugh out of a Japanese person, you're like, nah, I'm a bimbo. Bimbo des. And uh, you'll always get a laugh out of them. It always, it always goes down a, a storm. Also, if you call someone else Okane Mochi, like if, like if, like if I'm at a bar and Pete buys drinks, I'll go Okane Mochi, ne? And then they'll go like, ah. Bimbo laugh track. A, a lot of people think that like, um, that it's, you have to be serious. It's all stuffy. Everything has to be serious. But like, people are very chill. People are normal. And like, they're not like, I think there's this bad notion that people are like, so uptight in Japan that they can't have fun. 
and there are people who are definitely uptight, but like if you make a joke about yourself or make it like you like disarm yourself, people people feel very they, they get they get put at ease by that, you know? So I think that like when people are like you have to talk formal. No, don't fucking don't don't worry too much about it. People people don't always talk formal. You can always have like a, a, a in the right setting you can have chill time. You can make fun of yourself, you can say bad Japanese stuff. It's it's all like the vibe. You don't always have to talk perfectly. So I think it's more important to just like have like actually talk to people, even if you're not perfect. Um, I think that's the mo the best way to improve and to get like learn actually like natural conversation. Gomi. All right. Yeah, that's it. Steru. Steru. Yeah. Bunbetsuru. I have to I have to do a lot of that. I, I don't. I've never used that word. I actually I didn't even hear of this before. <laughs> I, I get this one a lot. I get kusai a lot. I do. I do get a. Uh, I uh. Oh, I'm gonna quit for now. Cool game. I do. Uh, it is weird because uh, I haven't gone to Japanese classes in like a year, a year and a half, and so most of my most of my Japanese. It just comes from talking. Uh, I'm totally chill being the guy who uh, struggles to communicate. If we're in a group of people, I'm like, let's do it. I'll do it. Did you learn during no lesson? I, I, so for me, lessons are tough because I think that, and I, and I don't know, because everyone's different in how they learn and whatnot and yada, yada, yada. But I, I had a lot going on and I, I you know, trying to do the stream, trying to do the YouTube, trying to do trash taste. And there's a lot of things I was juggling. And so for me personally, it was very tough to feel really engaged at class when I was stressing about other stuff. Devs in chat. Dev, you did a great job. It's very cute. Uh, great game. Uh, I'm not saying, uh, cause I'm trying to stall. I'm just trying to think my thoughts. Um, Thank you for sending me the codes. You also gave me codes. Are you chill with me giving them out to people? You said I w you were. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, you get the, the dev gave me three codes to give out, so I can. I can just give you some chat. Check it out. It's chill. Dev, I, I'm sorry that I didn't react streamer and go crazy. Uh, but it's cute. It's cute. You did a great job. Uh. And it's obvious you put a lot of passion into it, and it and it turned out really well. The, mechanic, the mechanics are nice. It's chill. It's cozy. Uh, there's there's a bunch of codes. Okay, I didn't do this in order. Let me. All right, well, whoever gets it gets it. If you get it, tweet at me. Tell me you got it. Swag. Cool, Dev. Thank you for giving out codes, Dev. It's really cool. Ah, uh, for Steam. Um, so as I was saying, I, I went to classes and I went, I went every week, uh, for two hours, which is not a lot. It's not a lot at all, but I just wanted to make sure that like every week I was getting some practice in, right? It wasn't about like every week I want to make progress. It's like every week I want to use it. Uh, because you know, if I do like a 13 hour stream, you know, and I'm sitting here, I'm not talking Japanese at all. Right. Uh, which is tough. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I, I I always had this like thing in my head where I was like, I could also just like stop doing YouTube for a while and stop streaming for like a while and just go to school like every single day, eight hours a day for like six months and hopefully get to a much better level. And then maybe that way it, in an investment in myself, it could like help the content. I could do better stuff. My pajamas would be better. But then I realized, I was like, okay, actually, you know what? Like, to get to the point where I would be able to actually, like, be able to use it for content in a, in a meaningful way, more than I already could, it would require me to get to, like, the, uh, like, N, N1 or N2, which would take so long. It would take a, at least, like, a year and a half. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Um, why is there a Vaporeon? Don't worry about it. Um, Awesome Pioneer, thank you so much, man. That's so kind of you. Uh, for giving out more codes. Uh, you, you crushed it, man. That's a, it's a really cute game. 
Uh, I, I hope you continue to update it and make more cool stuff for it. I'm sorry I can't play it more. Uh, my brain does not allow me to focus more on it. But that's very cool. I appreciate it. Um, language is also not about a utility. It's about utility. It's also about expanding your mind. I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, I think that's fair. I think there is there is two ways of looking at how you learn things uh, as a human being. Check my lights. Uh, it's, it says it's on. It says successfully connected. I'll, I'll redo it. There, there are two ways you can approach life and learning in general, right? You can look at it as, how does this, how does this help me? Like, how does this help what I'm doing? How does this help me get better at something? Or how can I have fun with this, right? And for me, I do not enjoy learning languages. It has never been fun for me. It is something that I've despised my entire life. I was forced to learn two languages growing up, and I think it made me hate learning languages. Um, and so I really never had any kind of... Uh, when it, when school, we tried to learn languages, I never had a good time doing it. Uh, I really, really didn't like it. Um, and so when I moved to Japan, it was kind of like, okay, well, now can I have, <laughs> I'm fucking forced to. Um, and so then I, my learning language was not out of passion or love or interest. It was out of necessity. Um, and I think through do, through learning it and using it, like when you get to use it, it's very satisfying. And then it became kind of interesting for me and it became kind of satisfying to learn more. And now I do like learning more Japanese, uh, but not like in any kind of formal capacity or uh, trying to get to a level, it, uh, like an N2 or something or pass this test. It's like, I just want to be able to exist as a human being and talk to people around me, and be able to express how I feel uh, hey, I'm and do it. Did I study yes. Japanese? No, I haven't studied shit. Girl, so don't say Mike Wazowski. <laughs> uh, I'm asking a one-eyed cat. Name suggestions. Don't say Mike Wazowski. I would have said Mike Wazowski. Would have said that. Guts. She's a girl. Sasuke. I don't know. Um. And so, I kind of was like, all right, look, I, I don't know how long this streaming thing lasts. I don't know how long this YouTube thing lasts. Um, but all I know is that generally if you take a break or you slow down or focus on other shit, it, it doesn't go well for what you're doing. Um, and so I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna focus on my YouTube and you know, cause the, the one thing that I think that, uh, I, I don't think I'm at this level anymore, but I think certainly when I moved to Japan, uh, if you try and get a career out of YouTube, like we did, we still kind of don't know how long you can do YouTube for. Uh, like we still don't know how the industry will be in 10 years, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, and so for me, it's like, okay, well, if I, if I don't know I have a job in 10 years, right? I need to become like financially stable from all of this so that I don't need to like, have to re like get a career, like start a career in like 40, like when I'm like 40, right? And I was like, well, okay, I think I should just spend my time growing my YouTube and, and I'm also just, I also just have way more interest in doing YouTube videos and making content. I'm, I'm, for me, it's a lot more fun. Um, and so that's kind of why I was like, okay, look, I'm, I'm doing all of this stuff. It's going really well. I should just keep doing it. Uh, make the bank and then I can chill out and do what I want once I'm set and I can take care of myself. <laughs> and, uh. That's kind of the goal, right? It's like, get a fucking, get a house paid off uh, the Felix way. <laughs> I mean, I think once you have a house that you, like, even if you, like, let's say even like the mortgage is fully paid off, right? A fucking impossible scenario to even conceive of nowadays. If you could do that, I feel like that's okay. Like you're good, right? Um, But now, you know, I feel like, uh, now the industry around YouTube and content creation is is how it is where a fire will wipe that out, bro. Are, is that a threat? <laughs> is that a threat? Uh, I, I think that like, given how YouTube and Twitch and stuff has evolved, uh, I, I even could like, you know, because like Jerma is retired and he's not retired. He's like semi-retiring and doing more of the producing side and creative side. I think there's a huge industry for that now, which could be cool. I don't want to do that though. Not now, but maybe when I'm like 40, I think I, I would I would enjoy being able to help another creator who is really promising, right? I think that's fun. I think that's exciting. 
Because I think, you know, when I get to like 40, like what the fuck, am I gonna, am I gonna keep doing this when I'm 40? Am I retiring? No, fuck no. I'm, tw I'm 27, chat. No, Joma's not 40, but like, if I'm, you know, when I get to like 40, right? Like, do I want to still keep doing this? Pete's, yeah, but Pete, Pete just started. <laughs> when I'm 40, chat, when I'm 40, I'll have been doing this for 20 years. 20, 23, 22 years? That's so long to be doing the same thing. Um, but... You know, I'm, okay, this is like, chat, this is not me saying what I'm doing, you know, I'm just throwing shit out there, you know? I'm just saying thoughts into the void, all right? He will be over 50. <laughs> me and Pete will still be drinking, okay? In 10 years. <laughs> 20 years of yapping. Um, I could also still be streaming when I'm like 60. You know? Um, so like, there's too much yapping. There's a lot of yapping. But also, I, I I love the idea of getting to 40 and being someone who doesn't give a fuck and just doing streams where I'm just saying wild shit. That sounds fun. Being a 40-year-old man who doesn't care anymore. I'll be like, yeah, let's do it. Gray hair. All right. Um. But yeah, no, anyway. Language learning. J learning Japanese. It's been great. Uh, it's been really satisfying, but I've definitely learned it in like a very unorthodox way. Literally just from talking. I, I like, I, I can read like two, three hundred kanji. Uh, not in every scenario, because sometimes some of the kanjis are fucking impossible to do all the reading, for me at least. So I, I gave up on reading a while back. Because I was like, fuck man, I, I'm this, I don't have the time to a like actually learn this. And I realized when you're learning something, at least for me, personally, when I'm learning something, if I don't fully commit to it, I, I'm just so bad at like actually picking up stuff and being consistent with it. Uh, and when I was doing, when I was do, when I was going weekly, I just found myself not learning. Like I just found myself just being in this rot where I regretted going, and I was and I was just paying a ton of money. Um, like it, it was like I don't know how much the classes were. It was it was a lot. It was like kind of expensive to go to, but like once a week. Um. And I just felt like I was throwing money away and time. Um, is it easy to learn Japanese? It's actually like not that hard to learn conversational, like being like conversational in Japanese is not that hard. It just depends how much you drink. <laughs> it's more, honestly, I feel like, like uh, it's time, confidence and willingness to fail. Like the, 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 like, Every time I'd go to a bar, right? Like, I go, I go hang out, and I go talking. You know, because me, 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 me and Pete go out drinking, right? We'll sit down in the bar, and a guy will talk to us, and I'll, and I'll, we'll be talking, and we'll we'll use the Japanese that we know, right? And I'll be like, hey, uh, I'll ask the guy. I'll be like, hey, how do I say this? Like, how do I say this thing? Or I'll Google it right in the spot. I'll be like, all right, this this one word, and then we have a conversation where I keep using that one word. That's when I remember it, right? Because I I just looked up this word and used it in a conversation. Uh, and in my head, I'm like retaining it because I'm I'm using it. Um, and people are very understanding, you know. People are very understanding. Uh, people in Japan are very chill. If you speak Japanese to them and they can see that you're learning and you're trying, people do not care if you don't, if you aren't fluent. Um, so just be, be confident, you know. Uh, I, I've said this uh, uh, many times uh, to many people, like, uh, I think you look at like two people, right? Like you look at Pete and you look at like Jerry, right? Jerry is a native in Japanese. Uh, Pete, <laughs> pretty far from it, I'd say. <laughs> Not to offend Pete. Uh, but if you, if you gave like them a night to make as many friends of Japanese people as possible, Pete would, Pete would do it because Pete's got the confidence. He would go out. He would make friends so fast. Uh, you know, it's not that like, it's because, you know, Jerry just doesn't like, that's not like what Jerry does. Jerry doesn't just go and talk to random people, right? Uh, and I think that Pete would just easily, he has no trouble kind of getting the conversation going. It's like if Natsuki walked up to you in a bar in like, in, in America, you'd be like, this guy's fucking funny. This guy's great. I love this guy. He's got Riz. 
um the charisma yeah and it, and, it, and i like and then that my way of like trying to explain that to people is like look it's not about like being able to converse with people uh and it's the same in our native english language it's mostly about confidence it's like about talking understanding the vibe and working with that uh and learning language you almost don't even need to speak the language to like, read that uh but it certainly helps it certainly helps he's got actor training to be fair yeah but i don't think that's acting i don't think that's acting training i think that's 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 people like that's just learning people um which is a part of acting i think to be a good actor you need to understand people you need to understand emotions reasons you know why do people feel a way but i don't, I don't like I, I know plenty of actors who aren't very social or aren't very strong in social situations um i think uh i envy your lack of social anxiety that's okay see that's like I think every single time you see someone who's confident, it's a rare case that they've always been confident in their whole life. Uh, to me, I, it was like, I lied to myself. <laughs> I just kept lying. So two things happened. I lied to myself into thinking that I was confident. I would lie and say that like, I, I, yeah, I got it, I got it. And I was fucking freaking out the entire time. But then it would kind of work. Like I, I kind of realized that people didn't like immediately throw bad shit my way or bad energy, right? I was like, I was like, oh shit, I like, I thought I like, I was bullshitting to this guy, but actually I realized maybe I am just good at talking to people. Uh, I've got the other thing I was gonna say, fuck. I can see you make it, yeah, but like, that's what you have to do. Like everyone doubts themselves, right? But like, you need to have that that feedback loop of, oh, nothing bad happened when I said these things. That's, that's how we have some very bad people <laughs> in certain places, <laughs> but you should use it for good reasons. Brain damage from all the Fight Club, that's true. When it goes well, it feels nice. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, it, it's it's like when you have that awkward conversation with the, like, coffee person or the barista and they're like, oh, the weather's nice. Like, yeah, it's chill. You know, and you're like, okay, this social interaction went fine. It's like, okay, you know, they they went out on a leg to talk to me. I, you know, I can do the same with other people. Um... But things do, ha bad things do happen when I talk there. Like, I think if you are having bad experiences when you are the one engaging or initiating, I almost feel like that's like, like that's gotta be on you. I feel like most people, uh, that you need to reframe how you look at things. So I think most people are pretty chill. Most people don't wanna have a bad, like when people get spoken to, they don't want to have a bad interaction, right? So if, if you are talking to someone and every single time is a bad interaction, okay, is it bad because they said it's bad or is it bad because you felt like it didn't go how you envisioned? Because those are two very different things. Um, because if, if, if somebody speaks to you and you feel like you fucked up, right? It's like, okay, how did you fuck up? There, there's like de definitely different ways. Um, it's all about reading the room. Reading the room is so important, but it's very tough. I know it's like a hard thing to do. Any more YouTube vids. Common denominator. Yeah. Live stream, by the way, it's just chill vibe. I love it. You know what's funny, actually? So I, I got recommended this video with, where this guy broke down my social interaction with him. <laughs> like, it, it sounds unhinged, but it, and I thought it was insane when I saw the YouTube channel. I was like, what? Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw this. Did anyone see this? You saw it was like, it was it was really bizarre. Uh, you watched that. I bet. It was a guy who stream sniped me, and then he broke down why I did a good job, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool." I was like, "Thanks, man." I didn't think much about it though. It was like it was like analyzing our interactions frame by frame. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It was suggested to me on YouTube. It, I mean, to be fair, I thought it was gonna be an unhinged video when I saw the title. But it was it was it was actually pretty good. It was actually pretty wholesome. You saw that? What was it like a C Dog VA stream sniper interaction analysis? Do you want to type in? Okay. This did not show up. Uh I don't know what to type in. I don't even know what the hell to get this. Rain. Action analysis. <laughs> I can't find it. It was a thing. It was it was a pretty interesting video. Um basically 
It was... <laughs> it was just explaining how I... How I, I was... I did a good job kind of not making it awkward and controlling the conversation. I don't know... I don't know what it was. Meeting... Oh, it was called Meeting CWV and Reinhardt Changed How I View Live Streaming. That's a crazy title. <laughs> I, I, the fact that you say that about me is nuts. It's very kind of you. Uh... But... I mean, that that's different, because, like, I think that, like, a normal social interaction between a stream... Snipe is very different, because, like, at me as the streamer... I kind of, like, dictate the pace of the conversation and how it goes. So if the conversation gets awkward, it's, it's like, it's because I, like, allowed it to get awkward, right? And if you think about that, like, a normal, I don't know, this is, I don't know if I'm getting too deep. If you think about that normally, an awkward interaction takes two people, generally, like, right? Normally. Unless they're really, really trying their hardest. Uh, so you can, you can kind of, like, if you can sense an interaction incoming, an awkward one, you can, you can like fucking reset the reset the energy. I don't know how to explain this. It's very tough. I feel like you just need to talk. <laughs> uh I, I don't know how to fully explain it to you guys. What are you talking about? This is me trying to explain social interactions and how to get better at them. Noted go to last save point. You can sense that something is off. Um, if you know a situation is awkward, you can save it. 100% every time. <laughs> I, sound, I sounded... Do I sound insane? I must sound insane. Uh, nah, bro is trying to be Joseph Joestar. Look at my TED talk. Tell you how. What do you mean? You... Like... Uh... There's, there's like multiple things you can... I, 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 what would I do? If a situation was super awkward, I think I'd, I might even acknowledge it. I'd be like, this is awkward. Let's change the topic. Uh, Kind of a little... Not the best way, but hey, it does something. Gets the, gets the thing running. Coach? Yeah, I, I gotta do it. Let's do, let's do a stream where I just coach someone into social interactions. I just I just backseat them. we like, do this. Tell them, tell them this. Fart really loudly right now. Did your time as a VA affect how you interact socially? Not really. Not really. Bro's backseating. Let me backseat you guys. Come on. You zone out of conversations. Can you turn off your ad manager? You don't need to run ads anymore. Well, we need to, to, to run ads. One, so I can pay you. <laughs> and mainly the pre-rolls. Uh... The pre-rolls. Um, because the pre-rolls get turned off if we occasionally play ads. Which means that, uh... We can, uh, so when people join the stream, they don't get ads. Because... You can run ads <clears throat> manually without the manager. Yeah, but if we don't run them every hour... What happens is that new viewers who join get ads, and new viewers are not gonna watch the stream. Because I'm not going to... I won't watch three minutes of ads on someone's stream if I, I, I want to figure out what, what's going on. Because uh, that's crazy. Uh, but if I tell you guys, normally I'll be like, hey guys, I'm going to go piss. I'm going to go get a coffee. I'm going to run an ad. Well, nothing's going to happen. Just come back in three minutes. No ads. Uh, so that's why we play ads. Uh... And also, it means that I don't really, like, need to incentivize you guys to sub. Because instead of you guys having to pay money, I can just take money from companies, which I prefer. Um, which I much prefer. Because I, I want to not... They're in an ideal world, no, never have to take anyone's money. I would just take all the company's money. Um... That is the best world. But obviously, you know, I know I know people want to support and they don't mind subbing. Um, uh, so, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the point. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I 
All right. Uh, love the chill stream. Yeah, we don't do these often. I do like just yapping with you guys sometimes. Reverse psychology, tell people not sub and they sub. I mean, like, I, uh, would you, <laughs> like, do you want me to tell you to sub? Like, <laughs> does that make Emma a mega corporation? How much, yeah, basically. So, like, I haven't, my, my, so all the, all the TTSs, right? They go into my, my PayPal. Uh, and I don't, I haven't taken money out of there in fucking, like, years. Because all of that goes to paying staff. Uh, and I actually have, like, like, not that much in there. Uh, I think I have to put money in there. But, like, pretty much all the TTS things are just going to paying people to make cool stuff. Um... So, Emma, appreciate it. That's why the mods love you. He doesn't touch his PayPal money like Jay Leno. It's, it, bro, PayPal money is dangerous. It makes you think you, you... You you treat it like Monopoly money. You're like, ah, it's just... It's like, it's like yeah, I got, I, got like a, I got like a few hundred bucks in there. You wasn't told this? You, you Now you know. I'm single-handedly funding this stream. <laughs> Will it be another RV trip? I'll try. You know. Have you had your ob ob obligatory St. David's Day Welsh cake yet? I haven't. It is St. David's Day. It's called Dewey. Uh, I'm free from ads finally. Well, where's second RV? Uh, we are still working on it. It's going to be like a two and a half hour, three hour video. Uh, and, it, and it's going to require a lot of voiceover. So... Financing the mod's next burger. Hell yeah. Um, I can't wait for another IRL drinking stream. That's chill. I do want to do one again. It, you know, it's just been hard because... The whole... Nuisance YouTuber live streamer people in Japan really kind of soured the vibe of doing those. Um... Because I didn't want people to think that when I go outside and stream, it's just to get fucking drunk and do dumb shit. But I do like them a lot. Uh, but I think now it's okay. I think now I feel good about it. I just got to arrange it with with uh, people. It, and it's also a lot. It's a lot to ask people. It's like, hey, do you mind being on camera for five hours and drinking alcohol? Like, that's a lot. And that's also like, I, I don't... There's only like few people I would trust with that. Because uh, I think that like... Like, 90, 95% of streamers don't drink on stream uh, because they absolutely shouldn't. They're absolutely, like, they just cannot, either they cannot handle the alcohol or they have terrible people when they drink. Um, And I, so I think most people shouldn't. So I, I, I don't, like, and it's also why, like, I, you know, I'm happy to drink with Pete and Chris on camera because <laughs> they drink. They're responsible. They've drank a lot in their past. Uh, and unfortunately, drinking is, like, just one of those things where it's like, all right, it's one of the only things when you're live streaming, it's like, I need someone who can not get smashed uh, because that is a liability. <laughs> Basically responsible drinkers and responsible drinking is tough. Uh, especially like younger people. Uh, they don't, they don't drink responsibly. Um, so yeah. Oh my god, I gotta sneeze. It's in my nose. <laughs> Americans kick W. Most Americans cannot handle their drink. I'm I'm being real with chat. <laughs> I I I mean most of them do or a lot of them just don't. Most of the streamers I know don't drink that much. A lot of always makes a joke when I when I land, he's like, You good? You, you don't need a beer or anything? I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh god. I'm like, it's different. It's different here. It's different in Japan. You don't understand. It's a different culture. You and your American with your LaCroix. What the heck is that? Give me a beer. Pacing and knowing limits are difficult. It's just, you know. Um, I mean, that's just unfortunately something you have to learn 
from having drank way too much at one point and realizing this sucks. Um, uh, alcoholic <laughs> No. <laughs> Get those baby drinks out of here. Like, I have no interest in it, like shots. I never want to do shots. I don't ever want to do it. It's not a case where I want to do it. Uh, I just want to drink beer. I just like beer. It just tastes good. I, I, that's why I don't even, I don't even care for the alcohol component of it much. I just like, I just like the taste of beer, which is why I like non-alcoholic beer a lot. Beer is piss water? Fuck, that's so, so sad that you think that way. Respect that. You can't drink till you look over 21. <laughs> I mean, that, I, I, the, the thing in the UK is that I, th I felt like by the time I was 21, I'd already gotten all my dumb drinking moments out of the way. So I felt like I could finally like be more responsible. Or I feel like if I had to start, if I had the opportunity to start drinking at 21, I feel like that'd be, I'd just go off the rails. And now I'm 21 and I'm doing dumb shit that I should have done when I was like a kid. Uh, there are certain laws in certain states you can drink earlier. It's like, well, in the UK, you can drink when you're like five. <laughs> if your parents, I think if your parents in your house permit that you can drink, you can drink at like five. Uh, it's like legal, like they can't punish you. It's something ridiculous. Um, like if your dad hands you a beer and you're six years old in the UK, everyone's going to think you're a terrible parent, but there's nothing legally against that. I don't think so. I could be wrong. They don't take my legal advice. This is not legal advice. <laughs> don't give your six-year-old kid beer. <laughs> Can you drink at the age of five in the UK at home? It is not illegal for someone between the ages of five and 17 to drink alcohol at home or on private premises. But that does not mean it's recommended. Yeah, okay. That's crazy. Yeah. That makes sense. I don't know many parents, though, who, who let their kids drink. <laughs> they age, like, below age 16. So, yeah, if you want to give your five-year-old a beer and you live in the UK, that's your fucking right. <laughs> that's a right that we deserve to have. What's wrong with age four? Yeah, I feel like it's kind of fucked up. They, that's the cutoff. You know? Because that's when, actually, you know, age five is when kids get fun. Because <laughs> you can give them beer. <laughs> Doesn't everyone have a sip of that mom and dad's beer? Yeah, absolutely. I, re I remember I went to my parents. My parents love to tell me about this. They love telling me about this moment. And it's like, it's like, okay, I get it. I like had a sip of the beer, my dad's beer, and I thought it was disgusting. I was like, this is fucking vile. I was like 10 or something. See, cause I, cause you know, as a kid, seeing the bubbles of the beer and stuff, it looks amazing to a kid. You're like, oh my God, it's gonna, it's gonna taste like Coke or something. It's gonna taste like, like Fanta. It looks like Fanta. And so, you know, you're like, all right, I'll let dad, let me try it. My dad's like, okay, yeah, have a sip, have a sip, have a sip. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> and I'm like, I'm never, ever going to drink alcohol. That shit's gross. Why would I ever drink that? And obviously, because, you know, in school as well, everyone's like, don't drink, it's bad. I'm like, yeah, I'm never fucking drinking alcohol. My parents are like, okay. And then 10 years later, they still remember I said that. And like, they always bring it up. They always bring it up. Um... But thank God it was legal. Later he turned into an alcoholic. <laughs> that's, maybe that's where it started. <laughs> maybe if they had been like, no, you could do it. I, I would do it, you know? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh my God. British culture W. Uh, yeah, man. My dad did that with Sigs, Lamau. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't, I feel like I don't know why, I did, I did just think like, ah, oh, cigarettes are gross. I just can't, I can't do it. It's so gross. What if I smell them? I feel gross. Um, I'm, I'm just very glad I never even remotely had any interest in, in smoking. They're here in the States. Um, yeah, they're so gross. I don't think I was ever around anyone who did smoke. So I think that also helps a lot. I was never, I don't, no one in my family smoked or even like immediate family. I think that helps. Or maybe they did and I just didn't see it. 
So that's, I mean, that's something. <laughs> um, you quit in January and going strong so far. Dude, nice, man. Congrats. Keep it up. There's no, no reason to go back. Um, don't it fucking sucks. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it literally looks like there's literally no benefit. Other than if you're about to, like, do an explosion, you can go and flick it. Then that actually, then I would, then I probably would take it up. But that's like one time. I don't know how many times I'd be in an explosion. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Cigars are cool, though. Okay, I mean, listen, if it's the, the boys, you know, Gaunt, Gaunt's wedding day, you're like, all right, all right, we got to, okay, all right, fine. I mean, it's with the boys. We got to do one. It's a special occasion. I, I think I feel like shit. I feel like absolute shit whenever I do it. But if the vibes are right, pff, all right, fine. I'll do it, I'll do it once a year for, for the right occasion. <laughs> it was my I think my cousin's wedding as well my my dad my dad brought them or someone and they, they gave it to me and I, I was like this feels fucking awful this is horrible the headaches go crazy the headaches are disgusting it's like not even remotely worth it in any capacity for uh, I think I don't know who I was talking to it was some other content creator and they told me that they smoked a cigar <laughs> and they had to like lie down and go home because they got like some kind of horrible headache and I was like oh god I didn't even know you could get that just a little cancer as a treat. It's not even as a, I don't even like it. It's not even as a treat. I'm like, all right, the boys have brought cigars. I guess I'm, I guess I'm doing this. Hey, if it's for memories with the boys, fuck, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, the one, the only reason why I can stomach it is because it's like, all right, I don't have to inhale it, which is vile. I think inhaling it, I don't even know how you do it. I, it's it's so gross. Um. Uh, cigars are instant migraines for you. Yeah, I, I heard I heard a lot of people say that too. What is that on the spinning wheel? Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. You're not you aren't supposed to, yeah you're, not, you're supposed to like breathe it in your mouth, but not down your lungs. So like you just hold the air in your mouth. I shouldn't tell you how to do this. this isn't, I, I, don't do that. Don't do that. Cut it in half. Get rid of it. Throw it out. <laughs> just eat it. Yeah, just fucking eat it. Just fucking eat it. It's old school and silly. <laughs> it's just a Winston Churchill cosplay. Um, is this supposed to bring it in lungs? No, no. Cigars are not supposed to. Don't do that. Don't, don't, for the love of God, do not breathe a cigar into your lungs. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, don't fucking do that. Um, that's quit a talk. <laughs> that's, what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> oh, Jesus. We learned how to, I don't know. I don't know how the fuck we got on this. I don't know how the fuck we got on this. Um, what else can we talk about? What else is interesting, chat? Um, dude, I have been destroying Indian curry for like five days in a row, and I cannot stop farting. It's been horrible. None of you guys need to know that. Uh, but I've probably farted five times this stream already, man. And you, you pfft, thank God you can't hear. I'm, I'm letting, the, I'm risking it. The noise gate. Sounds like it's destroying me. Like, I, I think I Googled one time. I was like, how many... Because I was like, surely I'm farting too much. Like, surely. No, not like recently, but like just a while back. And I was like, I must be farting too much. How many farts is too many farts? How many how many farts do you think is too many farts, chat? A day. How many think? What's the average amount? Don't Google it. Don't Google it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Google it. Okay, I've seen someone said 100, which is what I think I'm at right now. But apparently it's 13 to 21 times a day. 13, I feel like I don't thought 13 times a day. But I must do. I think you'll have fun with it. 
Um, okay, next question, Google. Is it possible to fart too much? Excessive or smelly farts can be caused when you swallow air or eat foods that are difficult to digest. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure the oily curry is not doing my body any favors. Um, I mean, listen, the curry's so good that I'm I'm willing to suffer for it. Um, it's just so good, chat. It's so good. And then I slammed a yakel, hoping that'll help. We'll see if it does. What kind of curry? Indian curry. Japanese curry is mid as fuck. It's good, but it's got nothing on Indian curry. It's just so bland in, in comparison. Um, What Indian curry? What did I get? I got mutton curry and chicken curry, I think. It was like the, you can get, like a lot of the places in Japan, they do like a naan, and you get like two small curries with it. It was good. Sounds bossing, but the, yesterday I think I had, I think I had mutton vindaloo, I think I had. And that shit was so spicy. It was great. Um, and then I think before that, I think I had a vindaloo as well, or a madras. I don't know what it's called. All right, thank you for the 10, man. Appreciate it. All right, you're always here. How do you always make it, no matter what time zone? I like butter chicken too, but I feel like it's too bland sometimes. It's too basic. Um, uh, what was I gonna bring up? We, I've done a lot of voiceover for Connor Dog videos lately. We have a lot of big videos. I just finished doing the voiceover for the Final Fantasy VII video. It's like two hours long. There's so many. So the Final Fantasy video is nearly done. I think. I think it's so close to being done. Voice Stranger? <laughs> <laughs> that is nowhere near being done. Nowhere near, okay? Why? Well, this is gonna take ages. Uh, where was that? Can I go back to normal? Um, the RV trip will be done soon. We have a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Um, um, what was I? Uh, Lizzie, thank you for the five as well. Appreciate it. And Stormy Mystic, thank you for the five as well. Appreciate it, appreciate it. When was the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playthrough? Eh. I felt like I played the original and that was great and I see the remake and I'm like... I don't know why. Am I crazy that it doesn't interest me? Like, I see it, I'm like, yeah, yeah. okay. It's always different. I am crazy, okay. I understand. Remake is way better. What? Paranoid Clanger, thank you for the 10. I appreciate it. You are crazy. I just feel like it's a, it's like a, a, I don't know, different game entirely. Like it's a different experience. Uh, and I, I kind of liked what I signed up to for the first one. I also realized, chat, I don't think I fuck with games. <laughs> and this is so ridiculous to say. This is an act of myself. Uh, I, I like streaming games. If there's a lot of dialogue, I way prefer to voice act it myself. I don't like it when there's voice acting. Um, so I feel like it takes away a lot of the fun stuff that I can do and what I can add to the stream. You should play it. You should play it. it you'd find it interesting. Um, I feel like you're right, Frankie. I probably would. But also, Frankie, you're biased. <laughs> You are very, I, I, you're, I've seen your tweets. They are literally just you simping for that game. Um, like the Super Mario RPG, I really enjoyed that because I got to voice act it and it was fun 12 hours and it was, you know, done. Uh, and Final Fantasy VII, I really enjoyed that I got to voice act it. Like I, that was super fun. Like I really enjoyed those 50 hours because I got to just have this experience with a with a jam, you know, and then like really like do all the voices and stuff. And the video is gonna be great. The video is gonna be great. Like uh, I think last time I checked, it was a two hour runtime for the entire Final Fantasy VII, cut down to two hours with a ton of voice over there. Uh, should be pumped. Should be. I'm really excited for that one to come out. That one's because you know we released the Final Fantasy VIII video, and I didn't know we were releasing it, and I I kind of wanted to do voiceover for it. We didn't do any, and I just feel like. 
that story is so convoluted that it kind of needs voiceover to help tie it together. I'm, I'm, a firm, I'm a firm believer that voiceover is like the key to videos being good a lot of the time, especially like stream videos. Cause you can, you can like cut out like 15 minutes worth of confusing stuff and just have me explain it in 10 seconds. You know what I mean? Uh, and I, and I can also keep you guys all informed and more like up to with the flow. We can keep a nice pace going. Cause when did that, when did that video come out? I know it didn't do crazy well. Yeah, it didn't do great. And I feel like it could have done a lot better if I had voiceover for it. Hmm. But yeah, and the Fear and Hunger ones too. I feel like that wouldn't have been good if I didn't have voiceover. But the problem is that voiceover takes forever. Like it's, it's so long cause like a lot of the times what I'll do is, is I'll get a rough draft and I'll just fucking watch it and record voiceover as I go. The, and like the Yu-Gi-Oh one, I think like the Yu-Gi-Oh video would have been like really hard to follow without it. Sorry, I, I always, I, whenever I yap like this, I always end up talking about the videos, but that's because I spent so much time working on them. Cause like, you know, I think stream highlights and how people do it is like lazy. People don't want to be involved with the stream with the videos. And I think that you have to be involved with the videos and to be good. Like if you want your, like your streams to translate to good videos, you can't just like end the stream and then be like, all right, I'm done. Sometimes you can, and that's great. Oh shit. But like sometimes if you're trying to tell a really interesting story or you're trying to take people on a journey, uh, especially through multiple days or hours, you, you, you need to consider how that all flows. Um, you know, some people do that streamers first. I think that's a bad way to stream though. Like, I just think you're a, like, you, like you look at some of these streamers who, you know, they're pulling like 20, 30,000 viewers and they have like no following on any other platform. And like, what does that say? That says that people like, okay, you're not offering anything else for people to come to another reason to keep up to date with you. So like, they only care about what you're doing on Twitch and not you as like the the individual, right? In a sense, I'm getting into like marketing stuff now, but um, it's important about having a following on multiple platforms. Um, you know, it's because like, you don't only want to have one way of reaching your viewers, right? Like for me, being able to like tweet stuff to you guys uh, is, is helpful because I don't always want to have to explain things through streams or videos, right? So having other ways to like tell you guys about stuff or update you guys is helpful. I have content brain. Um, I mean, you just don't put it. Yeah, like, like it's pretty straightforward. If if you're a streamer and you're very you're a successful streamer, your goal should then be not to how do I make only that number go bigger, but how do I make all the numbers go bigger? Um, and that's something that you should definitely invest in. Do you manage all those platforms yourself? Um, I'm, I'm always keeping up with them, but I'm not the one doing every single decision. But I will always be a part of the decision making in terms of like, if someone like, if Mudan puts a video up and I hate the title, I'll just change it. Uh, and then I'll tell him, hey, look, this is why we, this is why we're going to title it like this. Please ask me beforehand. Um, for like the, the Connor Dog channel, I used to, Every single thumbnail I used to approve and I used to go over it with Mudan and we used to brainstorm. And then I was like, look, let's spend like a crazy amount of money and hire just a bazillion fucking thumbnail artists and let's get some good thumbnails going. Let's get a style. Um, let's keep updating it. Let's keep making this, the, the thumbnails better. Uh, and now, because I've worked Mudan so long, I don't need to, I, I don't need to tell him how to make a good thumbnail. He, make, he just makes a good thumbnail. Uh, and he's got a good eye for it now. But that's just something you just learn from just trying. Like you, you will, you will have bad ones. You will have banger ones, you know? Um, I know it's freaking amazing. Yeah, I mean, I think that some of them are really beautiful and sometimes they serve the purpose, sometimes they don't. And I think that's fine. Um, I think it's, I, I'm a firm believer that thumbnail and title are very important, but also if your video is good, it'll also just do good. Um, if, if, if people click on a video and they watch the whole thing, YouTube's going to push it more. Just how it is. Um, pretty straightforward. I, I, short form's a whole different beast though, man. I don't know. I'm not good at that. I think I'm okay at it, but I don't really know that stuff very well. Uh, I need to experiment more. 
don't like cringe thumbnails. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of uh, cringe is different to everyone. Um, I've been liking the shorts that you've been posting, though. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Um, we need to do more. I keep forgetting to do more. Um, but you know, I you know the 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 main reasoning I had between one of them get the YouTube. Show. Okay, I'm also a YouTuber, right, Chad? I I'm, I started YouTube, then I came to live streaming. Um, but. I, I found it frustrating as a streamer. And I couldn't believe that streamers did this, that they would stream for eight hours, have an amazing stream, and then they were okay with that just not existing anymore. I was like, that's crazy. I would never film a video and just be like, all right, I'm done. I'm not gonna edit it, I'm not gonna put it up. Like that's, what? And streamers used to do this all the fucking time. I can't believe that. YouTuber brain. No, I, 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 I. It's like, okay, like, let's say you go to, you, you, you work at a company, right? The company is going to be like, so what fun things did you do? It's like, no, no, how did you, how did you do better? How did you improve? How did you increase productivity or stuff like that? Right. And I think maybe that's like, uh, there's something to be said as well about how, like, you shouldn't always focus on those kind of things as well. And that maybe just enjoying it as a part of itself and yada, 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 you know, and I think that's fair as well. That's an argument. Cause I think. Some of the best streamers of all time are people who don't give a single fuck about this stuff. Um, you know, like your your Tyler Wands, your uh, uh, I mean, Tyler Wands like the best example I can think of. Um, but not everyone can be Tyler Wand, like, like like yeah, like Forsen, right? Like not not everyone can be Tyler Wand. Uh, you know, it's just the reality of it. I'm not that kind of character. I'm also not a god gamer. I'm okay at gaming. Um. But, you know, <laughs> so I think you got to, you got to utilize the strengths that you have. And I think I, I'm, I'm good at, I'm good at like sitting down and planning things and, and executing it, you know? So it's just how it is. God gamer. Uh, my strength is yapping. Okay. Well, I think I'm okay at yapping. I appreciate that, chat. I appreciate that you think I'm good at yapping. Uh, so we don't have the energy to go as hard as you do, Connor. I, no, I'm just addicted. It's not... I'm just addicted. I'm, I'm very addicted. I can't stop, chat. I can't stop making things. Okay? I like making things. I like getting better at making things. Um, so... I like, get, I, like, I like getting better at everything entertainment. And I also like getting better at understanding it because uh, the one thing I hate is that like, when I go into these meetings or whatever with these uh, people who are like agents or whatever they are, and they're like, they try to treat me like I don't know anything. Uh, it drives me insane. Uh, so I don't have the problem anymore. I think I have more than like know my shit. Uh, and you know, I used to be like very... Um, like, I, I, as a kid, you'd, you always grow up, like, listening to authority. So whenever someone would talk to me about stuff and they were they were the professional or so the dynamic made me believe, I'd always get, like, I'd always be like, yeah, whatever you get, you say, you must be right, right? So I think just having the confidence to be like, no, nah, I think I know what's right. Like, I, I know how to do my own job now. Um, I, You know, and having trust in that is important, I think. I'm also just yapping my ass off right now. Full on yapping. <laughs> I don't even like Chad is not even talking about what I'm saying so I think that Chad is like let him fucking let him yap on we'll get back to it <laughs> professionals don't know shit yeah I mean I think like 80% of agents are just are just not good just not, not good um so that is that is my yapathon. These chill vods are my favorite to rewatch when doing chores. <laughs> I should make a playlist called Yaps Yaps to Chore to. Um Just keep talking, okay. <laughs> 
This is the main channel based on crane games? No. I've got like five videos that are basically nearly done, and none of them are crane games. Um, but again, sponsors have been holding them up. We had some that was supposed to come out and sponsors delayed it and stuff. No way. I, I do. You can ask Paul. Ask Paul, cameraman Paul. Um, hey, I have a question. How do you stay motivated to upload on Twitch and YouTube? I mean, a buddy of mine want to try to stay motivated to continue our channel, but we're trying to improve ourselves with our thumbnails and editing. But we struggle to find content. that will catch someone's eye, so to speak. Um, that's tough, man. Um, you know, I almost think that if you're making stuff to, initially to get seen, it's almost like a, a losing battle, you know? I think that you, you speak to any YouTuber or streamer that you like, odds are nowadays they started out of just wanting to like fuck around and find out. Uh, and I was no different. For me, it was just a pure hobby. I just thought it was funny. I thought making prank calls was, was funny as fuck. I didn't make it for any. I made it to send to my friends. And then when I realized it was kind of good, I was like, oh, okay, I was like, oh, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can like push this more. Um, and so I think that like having that motivation from a, coming from a place where there is no desire to be seen is very important, I think. And also get fucking lucky. You get a lot of, yeah, a lot of luck. My God, a lot of luck. Um, um, it's fun doing those. What's the whole show and tell thing about? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, basically just copying slap. You've seen his presentations, kind of like that. Find something you want to talk about. Make it as funny as you can. Send it in and we'll watch it. And we'll review it. Um, basically it. Uh, we extended it as well. 9-11? Okay, well maybe not 9-11 jokes or stealing stuff. Uh, up to you. Um, what's one's a game called? No Rest for the Wicked. It's by the people who made Ori in the Blind Forest. I'm kind of actually quite excited to play it. Real YouTube advice there. Man, the, the game's changed so much, you know? Like, my, my foot's in the door. So, like, I'm chilling. But, like, if I had to start now, if I if I got, if I was born now, like, now, yeah, right now, I'd just start YouTubing. I would come out of the womb and go. Speed run. Start, start YouTubing. Google Greca. Uh, <laughs> if I had to start making content now, like, I'm 19. I start today, right? I, I'm boned. I don't think I, I don't think I fucking, I pop off. Maybe I would, I don't know. I don't think so though. I think if I, if I had another shot to do it at another time, I wouldn't, I would, it wouldn't work out, you know? I think it just, it was, it's harder now. It is just straight up harder now. You have to be better. Um, you know, you'd have to find a niche. I mean, I found a niche back then. I mean, I was not a niche, you know? I'm very, very, very fortunate now where I can just come on here and yap for you guys and you guys seem to not mind. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> so like, that's that's like the best thing I could ask for. Like that, I'm, at a, I'm in a very fortunate position as a creator right now. Um, and, I, and I'm really grateful. I really am. Um, you weren't aiming for a niche though. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't. And I think if you aim for a niche, you're going to be stuck in the niche. Like, I tried to get out of the niche as soon as I, I realized I was in one. Uh, so, it's tough. 10k people watching you yap is very good, I'd say. I, I appreciate that. It's very nice. But variety is important. Yeah, I mean, that's why I, I, you know, I felt like in the past few months I've been kind of bad with it, but I'm, I want to get a lot better. I, I was just really stressed out with a lot of stuff. Currently running to school. Rather watch the stream though. Well, I'll do both. <laughs> um, Power World and Hell Dives. Yeah, Power World definitely fucked my January. I kind of did nothing but Power World in January. It was kind of ruined my my flow that I had gone. Um, how old am I? I'm 27. I'm 27. I had a flow. Yeah, I had a flow. I had a flow going. I had a flow. I was super pumped. I didn't, you know, I had a lovely Christmas and I was chilling. Um, I was vibing. Back in the day. Dude, I, I'm getting to that point now though, where I can like 10 years. That's it's isn't that insane? I like I'm I'm that's so crazy. Like 
I uploaded my first video in like April of 2014. That's, that's insane. And pretty much since then is like, I guess 2015 technically is when I really started uploading. Um, Pretty crazy. I don't know, man. It's, it, I, whenever I think about it, it always makes me feel like weird. And I'm like, that's strange. Because nothing else in my life I'd done that long other than like school. And even then, like I was moving around and doing other shit, right? But I guess I'm still doing that in, in this sense. What a weird, what a weird concept to be like fucking 27 and have been doing something for 10 years. So weird. Um, and like, the, especially the past like four years, they've gone so fast. Like it felt like, it felt like when I, you know, I'd, I'd be like, yeah, man, I, I, I've been doing this for five years and I'm like, boop, oh, 10, what? Um, crazy. COVID really fucked everything up though as well. COVID did fuck everything up. Do you have any other plans before committing to Twitch and YouTube? Uh, my, 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 honestly, my plan, when I, my go-to plan, uh, was to just do engineering and then play as much video games in my spare time. That was the plan, because I had an engineering degree. I was signed up to do a master's, uh, I was gonna do the master's. And I was gonna get a nice cushy engineering job, become a chartered engineer, and just spend all my, my money on video games and vibing. Uh, because getting a job as an engineer was, was really easy because the UK needed a lot of engineers and I had an engineering degree, which was great. And it was very easy to, you know, translate that into a job. Because all I cared about is video games. And, and to some extent, all I care about now is video games. Like I fucking love video games. Um, and then as I started uploading in, in university, I realized, oh, I actually kind of like doing this a lot more. And then that's when I pivoted. And then I thought, ah, fuck it. Well, we'll see how it goes. I, th I think th there was a lot of pressure that was put on me. Uh, a lot of pressure that was put on uh, on everyone. That's like, you have to succeed at this. Don't fuck up. Don't choose the wrong thing. You're fucked. And I was like, oh, okay. That's kind of scary. But I was like, man, actually, you know what? I think I'll just try it for like two years. And if I, if I fail, uh, I'll just go back and I'll just go back and, and do it. Because I, I had this thought that I was like, wait. I went to university and there's people who are in my year at university who are two years older than me who took two years off and they're doing fine. So like, if I finish my degree and then take two years off, that's fine. But, you know, it wasn't like I wasn't doing anything. I was making fucking weird anime videos. <laughs> um, you can still fuck around till 23. <laughs> that's the cutoff. Stop fucking around at 23. Get it together. Get your shit together. You're 23. Um, I mean, you know, I, I am. I feel like also I'm terrible at giving life advice in any capacity because as a YouTuber, my life and my life is so skewed and weird. Where the only advice I can give you is, uh, fucking chill. Have good friends. <laughs> like. Like what, what, like, do I have any valuable advice to give anyone? I don't think so, right? Like genuinely, like I, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think as a streamer, I have anything to give you of value, like ad advice wise. Um, that is like actually useful. Be swag money. I mean, that's fucking smoke. <laughs> Believe in yourself. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, you do to you, man. Just do it. Yeah, fuck it out. Figure it out. I only have three months left of screwing around. Ah, uh, Frankie, you got, you, Frankie, you're doing all right. You're doing all right, Frankie. I saw you on the stream rewards, Frankie. I think you're doing all right. Uh, kind of sad you weren't in the Power World tournament. Uh, I think I'm just, uh, dude, I, <laughs> I just don't really want to do any more of like those events. I, I just don't have a good time a lot of the time. Um, they're, they're just so rough sometimes. The the Apex one that I did at Twitch Rivals, man, it, that really like made me not want to do this ever again. And I was just like, man, I'd rather just do my own one. Like I I like doing it more when it's mine. 
because I feel like I can make sure it's fun. Um, and, w and when when someone else is arranging these kind of stuff, if it's not someone I don't know, or if a company's arranging it, it's only like, okay, you know, it's like, all right. And if, they, if they're paying me a shit ton, okay. Now we can talk, because now we can start talking about how I can <laughs> afford a house. Uh, but if it's just like, hey, come play games and you know, you win like $300. Like, okay, cool. Emma's going to give me that in two minutes. <laughs> I'm so abashed for that clip. It's a great clip, Frankie. I don't chill. I don't worry about it. Um, so it's just tough because, you know, as well, like I, sometimes, uh, the, uh, and the, I think when you have an event, it is so much better to keep the event smaller unless it needs a reason to be big. Like, uh, when you're like, when, we're, when I, I'm, I'm like commentating something, I think from a viewer's perspective, if you're trying to follow like 10 teams, uh, and it's a game that doesn't really lend well, like if it's like a, a battle royale, it's like, okay, maybe it kind of makes sense, right? Cause it's like, okay, I can kind of follow these people, but even then it's kind of tough. If it's a racing game like Mario Kart, a little bit easier, right? Like 10 people, we can follow 10 people. Um, but like the, like the Power World one, I found really hard to follow. Like that was really tough for me to follow. And I felt like that just had too many people in it. Um, and I feel like you can have a much better experience as a viewer if you just half that pool, and then we can get we can get to know the teams and follow the teams a bit better individually. You know? Um, so I think that when I try and do events, I try to make them small so that we can get storylines going. We can form kind of like stories with the teams that we're following, right? And we can we can we can have that kind of show. But I think when you have too many people, it's impossible to do that. And you're constantly swapping between to find the interesting thing. And it's just tough. Um, and I think it's also exhausting for a viewer. I think it's tough. I mean, I, you know. Um, too many teams. Uh, multiple days are tiring. Multiple days are tough. But a lot of brands often want multiple days like my apex thing right like i didn't want that to be multiple days you know i mean i didn't mind it being multiple days but that was like a like a thing that normally the brand will ask for or the sponsors will ask for because they want multiple days why because you potentially are re reaching a completely different audience right most of you are going to watch both days right uh the but a lot of ads or sponsors want to get as many views as possible so splitting it up means that you you get a high chance you'll get way more audience right but it means that it it's harder to follow for everyone because now you're splitting it up and then sometimes you see these th events that are like five days and that's fine if it's like there's four of us or five of us right and it's like that's easy to follow because we're all super invested and all our audience is invested it's, ex it's exciting that it's five days but it needs to be it needs to be perfect, right? You know, if you are invested and most importantly the stream is invested, you know, that's the most important thing. Um Pog Champs is way too long. Um I think something like Pog Champs is maybe a, like slightly too long, but I also think that in that format it works because it's it's a it's a elimination event like it's only as long as as good as you are which makes it exciting for as a viewer to follow um bit of a quake it's okay um like i think when you watch me and like pog champs you get to follow it day by day right so if i if i if i lose it's like all right i'm done in like two streams but if i'm winning now the story's suddenly getting more exciting you can follow it right and then it also makes for an amazing youtube video i think when you have like a i definitely feel like i'm it's shaking why did i get another spot like there it's crazy um but when you split up into five days the streamers don't really care Yada yada yada. It's really tough to to 
have a, an event that really works. And so I really, really try to make sure the events that I'm, I'm doing or I'm a part of are, are really exciting for you guys. Because I really don't want you to see me in an event and think, ah, oh, it's kind of lame. Um, so, you know, it, it just depends. There's a magnitude four in Chiba. Okay, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. We're chilling. Love the chess streams. What's another idea? Like, um, oh man. I'm just trying to think. It won't be lame because you will be there and everyone would want to watch you. But I feel like the reason why people want to watch is because I'm, I try to make sure that stuff I put out is good, right? And I think you need to have that level of like quality control um, to make sure that you guys enjoy watching it. The reason why you guys have faith in me to make entertaining things. Um, so I try, I do try. <laughs> um, I say, I'm saying mm, a lot. That's me thinking. That's me trying to think. Do you want to Google form of stream ideas? I mean, we're going to try. Yeah, I mean, most of them will be bad, but we can try. Stop thinking. I, I think it's better not to just yap. I should just think sometimes. No? Um. Oh, a, a great example of like how a good event is formatted. I think that like uh, Germa's house flipper thing, for as scuffed as it is, he's, he does it in like the best way you can, right? Like everyone in their own stream gets to build. It's very easy to swap between POVs and follow, right? And then you have this one segment where everyone comes together and everyone's watching one thing happen, right? So you get the benefit of having multiple streamers. Everyone gets their own POV and everyone has their own storyline. And that's that's like a really smart way of doing it because the game lends well to having like eight people do it. You know, I think for that one, having four may be worse because that's just not enough houses, right? But I think when you have eight people like more people for an event like that it makes a lot of, makes a lot of sense um so that kind of stuff and 2v tuesdays is a great style as well i think that's like the perfect example of like this is where you know i think if 2v tuesdays was six teams i think it would be too much you know it'd be too much to follow um or eight eight teams right so like four is the perfect number there it's all about like finding the right amount of people to make the idea the best uh, and it's frustrating because sometimes sponsors and whatnot, uh, who, who we need, uh, often want more people because it means, you know, more names, more streams, more yada yada. Um, so always fun. Fuck. Why did you type fuck in my chat? <laughs> Why did you just type fuck? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, mod. Uh, okay, I have to get ready for the sponsored segment in five minutes, so I'm gonna go and get a cup of tea real quick, chat, and then we will continue the stream and start the sponsored segment where we play No Rest of the Wicked. I think we have to watch a stream bit for 20 minutes, though. We do, I believe. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me uh, grab the links. I actually don't have the link. I mean, I have it. I just... I'm just bad. I'm running an ad right now so you don't get ads during the rest of the stream. Uh, where is the link? Uh, mod son, can you send me the links in the chat? Uh, BRB though, chat. I'm gonna go get a cup of tea. We get a fucking cup in it, mate. I'll be right fucking back in it. All right, sorry about that, gamers. I'm back. How we all doing? How we all doing? Oog, oog, oog. We need, we need an oog emote. We gotta make one. I don't know what oog would be, though. We need to make an emote for that. All right. Um, We're watching... Uh, where are they at? There we go. That's what we're doing. One minute 50. All right. We gotta make an oog emote. Dude, I'm so pissed. Where did this spot come from? Came out of nowhere. My lips are... Look at them. Um, we have one. I don't see one. 
back. Bug? Ah, that Og isn't good enough, though. It doesn't have a. It's not monkey. Concerts out? Hell yeah! Go watch it, guys. All right, so um, in like one minute, this stream is sponsored, and we're gonna be watching. We're gonna be watching a, a a showcase for twenty minutes, and then we're gonna get we're gonna play the game. Uh, because I don't think anything has been released about this game yet. Um, what I do know, chat, is that this <laughs> this uh this stream is sponsored by uh No Rest for the Wicked Gamers. Um, I, do they have anything that I have to say? I should probably know that, huh? Probably should. No rest. No rest for the scuff streamer. Alright, let's check it out. 31 seconds. Uh, I'm watching it on Twitch, so... Let's hope it's cool and swag. I hope Twitch doesn't shit the bed. Should be okay, though. Actually, what if I just make it full screen? I'm just gonna make my life easier. All right, 10 seconds. Uh, mods, can you please put the things in the titles? The hashtags? Ooh, let's find out. This is what we're going to play right now, chat. We're going to play this. We've been given a access early. Thomas. And I'm Gennady. We founded Moon Studios during the rise of independent games in 2010. Back then, there weren't all that many modern Metroidvania games out there. And so we created mm. Ori and the Blind Forest. Ori became a huge success with gamers and critics alike. And it helped. Still want to play it? I had never have. Our next project was supposed to be something totally different because for over 20 years we've been playing action RPGs religiously and we always dreamt of where this genre could be taken next. At the same time, we felt that we could do even more within the Metroidvania genre and so we embarked on making Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Mm. We ultimately shipped another game that was incredibly well received and that we're deeply, deeply proud of. But we had never forgotten about our dream of creating our own action RPG. We have left our mark awesome. on one genre before. Now we hope to do the same for action RPGs. Our story begins 841 years after the embrace. King Harold. What country is Moon Studios from? And he's I'm trying to pin the accent. By his young and untested son Magnus. Meanwhile, rumors of the return of a great plague known as the Pestilence, are starting to emerge. German accent? Magical Selene, a ruthless figure in the church... Looks French. What, what the fuck? The what is it? What do you mean looks French? <laughs> Dutch? These forces converge on the backwater of Isola Sacra, where rebel groups and the provincial government fight for control amid the Isle's crumbling ruins. Okay. As a serum a member of an ancient sect devoted to defeating the Pestilence, you are sent on a merchant ship to oh, It looks really pretty. En route, your ship comes under attack from a rebel group known no! as the Risen. The battle leaves the vessel battered and badly damaged. The ship stands little okay. chance as it limps towards the shore and it is torn apart on the rocks at sea. You All find right. yourself washed up the at risen. the shores of Isola Sacra, bruised and unarmed, and end up caught in the midst of both a vast political struggle and a fight for survival. He skipped like day. <laughs> okay. Bro needs to cycle or something. It's like, what is going on with bro's legs? The world. <laughs> With no rest of the wicked, we decided to handcraft an entirely seamless world. And visually, it looks fucking awesome. Nothing in this game is very visually down. generated. Instead of moving across a randomly generated flat plane, throughout I'm gonna the forget shortcuts, all this. You will notice that our world is dense, interactive, 
uses a ton of verticality and that every inch was crafted by a designer. Hell yeah, swag. We love it, where everything is designed by humans. You'll be well served, always paying attention to your surroundings too. There are secret areas just about everywhere that usually reward you with precious items. Oh no, that's bad. I'm gonna hit every wall now. Is randomized. It ensures Fuck. that every player has their own unique experience and that every time you explore an area, you might just finally get that last gold ore or new bad legs you've been waiting for. Okay, that's kind of neat. We abandoned the old point and click model to move your character around. We wanted players to have ultimate control over their character. Okay. Every movement you make should feel tactile and be intentional. For that reason, we designed Wicket to be played using WASD or a controller. Okay, cool. Oh, I, I always love controller games. Should have never brought you on board. You'll never make it to Sacrament from here. Good voices. Instead of going for realism, our goal is always Bro, to that make looks games sick. that look like a painting come to life. That looks awesome. Our artists spent years meticulously modeling and hand painting all of Isola Sacra. Can I just can I play it now? <laughs> I just want to play it. <laughs> Stop teasing me. Of breathtakingly beautiful environments, lit with natural day and night cycles, immersed in dynamic weather. We are, we are going to play this chat, by the way. We're going to play the, I think, an early build of it after this showcase. We also engineered a very special way of rendering our top-down world where you can always see so much further into the distance. Yeah, that is actually sick. That's so cool. Our goal was to make everything as interactive as possible. If an object looks like you can climb it, then you can actually climb it. And if an object is too thin to walk over it, you might just need to balance your way across. Ah, oh, that's cool. Man, I can't get over how good this looks. That, see, that looks fucking cool. Combat, okay, here, now we go, all right, now, okay. Seat forward. Right from the start, we decided to create an animation-driven combat system. Which to us meant that every attack you make mm -hmm. should be carefully considered. We oh. wanted to bring weighty, precision-driven combat to the okay. top space. Combat the real game is okay, just like me. different genres from ARPGs to fighting games. In order to overcome an opponent, Am I on the highest you need to quality? watch out for telegraph behaviors am, okay. and then punish accordingly. Maybe it looks better on YouTube. I just feel like it, it can... It, Twitch Timing, is doing me dirty here. Spacing and weapon weight are incredibly important in Wicked's combat model. That's a in the rest for the Wicked, every single weapon has its own unique moveset and stats driven by RNG. You need to watch out for telegraph behaviors. Seamless. Punish accordingly. And I'm, I'm going to it in 4K now. Timing, spacing, and weapon weight are incredibly important in Wicked's combat model. In the rest for the Wicked, every single weapon has its own unique moveset and stats driven by RNG. Okay. Oh wow! Using oh, that looks pretty day, fast, even though it looks slow initially. This enemy shield. Let's try something different. Oh, you can parry. If you time it just right, you can parry incoming attacks. Is it, to you? it looks better for me. Enemies opening. That looks pretty cool. Gear in the rest right. of the wicket comes in four different rarities. White oh, there's something about color. rarity scales that Unlike makes my brain go, ooh. Energies, not trash <laughs> I don't know why. Instead, made those the most customizable. Blue items are rare. They offer only positive enchantments. Purple items are cursed. They offer oh. very positive enchantments. 
but they also come with a cursed enchantment. Gold items are unique. They are specifically handcrafted by our designers and offer unique enchantments. This rare claymore we found has an enchantment that increases my focus skin whenever I deal damage. Okay. I also like I like the RNG. I don't like Every it when I there's like a quest problem. item that's goaded because it's like I just want to I want to find something in a chest. I feel like I'm a god when I find it. I'm like, oh my god. Damn, the animations are clean. It is then used to perform rune attacks. Let's drive off. But every now and then, you might not even need to use your weapons to get rid that of That looks them. crazy. <laughs> Sometimes, all you need is a little push. Okay, enemies take actual full damage. Let's go. Every weapon you'll find in No Rest for the Wicked has its own bespoke moveset, custom made by our incredible animation department. Oh, yeah. That's neat. Wash and stretch and other animation principles directly inform our combat design. Layered on top of that, enchantments that drastically impact weapon behavior and our deep rune system. All of this culminates in a weapon system that we feel is extremely fun and engaging and allows every player to create their own style of combat. When it comes to gear cool. like armor, there is a wide range of options, each with their own design and attributes. The weight of such items even affects your movement in combat. Damn, that enemy animation looks so clean. For instance, if you opt in for a lighter, faster build, you can quick step out of enemy's way. Okay, that makes sense. Are fast and don't consume a lot of stamina. With medium weight build, your character will dodge roll. Those are slower and consume more stamina. I don't like it when the game, the devs say the game is fun. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Instead of locking you into a character class that you then have to adhere to for the entire playthrough, we want you to have the flexibility and freedom to play as the type of character you want to. Okay. And even come up with character classes we haven't even thought of. Okay. So far, That's kind of cool. We've shown what combat looks like with a more melee focused build. Let's take a look at how combat changes for a mage. This character build oh, uses a two handed staff. We have three rune specials available Blink, Fireball, and Nova. Fighting multiple I like the Blink. The Blink looks sick. Tricky. When used right, Nova can be an absolute blast. That is fun. The uniqueness of each item you find or craft, being able to create any character build you can think of through our soft class system and the randomized loot, all of these systems combine. Full strength. Full strength. Through, and every no, no points in anything else. Full strength, baby. Bosses, okay. I hope they don't show too many, because I like it when I get surprised by something horrific. I saw a Sacrae's riddle with plagued enemies known as the Torn. As you can see, this Torn has been left to mutate and fester and will prove particularly vicious. Our best course of action is to study his moves and attack whenever Holy. we see an opening. This is fucking tough. I, <laughs> yeah, I'd be dead by now. <laughs> yeah, I'd, uh, I, I, this is a reset angle. This is a reset. Bosses 87 HP already. Quite brutal in No Rest for the Wicked. They will punish every mistake you will make. But keep a cool head, make use of all of the skills you've learned, and you just might succeed. As Holy. you can see, No Rest for the Wicked is an intensely skill-based game. 
you? That's why they asked me to play it. Skill based. That's an XP ball. I'm an idiot. I'm sure about skill based and I confuse the XP for the health buff. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Okay, that was fucking, that was sick. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, this, oh, come on, let me play. I want to play already. Let me play. I think I have to wait, like. Along your journey, you'll come across the town of Sacrament, the capital of Isola Sacra. Sacrament is a war-torn place, but over the course of your journey, you can help rebuild Sacrament to its former glory. Oh, ignore that gate, Five minutes. Five what minutes from now. In order to demonstrate... I want to get in. We'll switch to a realm that's already a little more advanced. Our goal is to make Sacrament as interesting and interactive as possible. Okay. Meet about in Meriwether. Taylor's at, at your service. service. Mary, we agree. My name goes first. Don't pretend you don't smell it. Oh, they got British people. That's how you know the acting's good. <laughs> I'm biased, by the way. For example, after my previous expedition, I helped Fillmore rebuild his smithy. He now sells better gear and is also... That's how you know when the acting's going to be fire. When you hear a bunch of British accents, you're like, oh, I'm in. <laughs> to that effect, we aim to make investing resources into... That's why they didn't call me there, because I'm basically American. As investing resources into your character is... Let's take a look at another way you can make Sacrament your own. In Sacrament, you'll be able to purchase real estate. Well, real if estate. You have the funds to afford it. It's like real life. I can't afford it. Property in Sacrament <laughs> can get a little bit expensive, but accumulate the riches, and you can choose from a wide range of properties to suit anyone's taste. Oh. Your house is the perfect place to stash your loot. Craft Wait, items, that's actually kind of neat. Relax and plan everything out for your next big run through the dangerous areas surrounding Sacrament. I, I would just never think to add a mechanic here, like this so into a game like this. Barren. Let's fix that. Out on your journey, you'll be able to collect to harvest valuable resources, which then can be no. used to craft gear, furniture for your home, or even make improvements to the town itself. No. Catch a fish, for example. And no! Cooked, of course. But certain fish scales might even... They put everything in the game! <laughs> what? Well, I they was literally, literally sacrament, put everything in. So now, let's make use of that and make this place a little bit more cozy. How does it look Housing when you put it down? incredibly cool in No Rest for the Wicked. Since you're not constrained to a grid, you can come up with some really organic looking designs. Okay, okay. The table looks nice, but it's missing something. Ah, it was much better. While some items you can place in your house are just cosmetic, our goal is for most of them to be functional and have a gameplay purpose. Oh, that's so sick with that actually has an animation. properties to purchase and an incredibly flexible interior design system, we hope players will be able to find and design a unique place for them to call home. Well, that's actually kind of sick. A no grid? Bless. Okay, and now can I please? I would love to show this off because I'm already sold. <laughs> End game. I'm, I'm, I haven't even done the tutorial. One last thing we'd like to show you today is a system we call Alive. Although No Rest for the Wicked features a traditional campaign, it was important to us that the Solar Sacra is very much a living, breathing world. Okay. In order to show you what that means, we're going to go to an area called Mariner's Keep. Okay. This is an area I've previously ventured through and explored. What do you guys have installed for However, me here? Since my last journey through here, Nif have overrun the local area. Presenting entirely new threats for me to tackle and resources for me to scavenge. Huh. That's kind of cool. 
The world of No Rest for the Wicked is constantly changing around you. Oh, that's actually co so cool. And each time you visit a region, you'll be faced with a drastically different experience. Wait, that's me. for the wicked. You never really know what to expect. I'm pumped. For those of you who asked about Endgame, yes, we've got you covered. While we don't want to give away too much at this point, once you reach the Endgame, you can enter the Serum Crucible. I'm curious this is where you'll have to test the really really against some of the toughest enemies within No Rest for the Wicked. Our goal is and always has been to create a very different action RPG, one that will hopefully move the genre forward. We believe that Moon Studios is an incredibly unique position to deliver on this vision. We have some of the best talent in the world united behind this, and we're not afraid to take the risks that need to be taken in order to change up the status quo. We've poured an incredible amount of blood, sweat and tears into this project, and now we're at a point where we need your help to shape and build Wicked into the best game it can possibly be. Therefore, we'd like to invite all of you who love this genre, who grew up with it the same way we did, and who are excited to see a new take on it, to join us on this journey. Yes. So we're happy to announce that we're going to be launching No Rest for the Wicked after all of these years into Steam Early Access next month Ooh. on April 18th. Over the course of early access, well, you'll guys, be for you guys, <laughs> for me, <laughs> it's right now. <laughs> At which point, you have to wait. On I don't. Well. <laughs> Wicked has been built from the ground up with multiplayer in mind. So oh, the first hell of these yes. major updates that we will be releasing in early access will be providing you with an innovative multiplayer experience, allowing you to play Wicked alongside or even against your friends. Oh, Our oh. second major content update will bring all new regions to Sakura, new enemies, narrative updates, and so much more. With Bro, what doesn't this, what doesn't this have? Updates to follow thereafter. Your support and feedback during this very critical part of Early Access really does make a difference. No Rest for the Wicked begins a new era for Moon Studios, and we are committed to this project for the long run. We're incredibly excited about what will be in the rest for the wicked already in day one of early mm. access. And we can't wait to show you all the stuff that will follow in the months to come. Once the showcase is over, be sure to tune in to your favorite media and content creators for the hands-on impressions of No Rest for the Wicked immediately following the showcase. We can't wait to see you all on April 18th. All right, I'm pumped. Let's jump in. All right, gentlemen. Who's your favorite content creators? That's me. Hopefully, I can, I'm assuming I, I could be wrong. All right, anyway, let's play it. I have it. I installed it yesterday. I have it. I'm so pumped, dude. Uh, all right. Yeah, I got a, I got asked to about this a while back, and I was uh, really excited because I, I, although I haven't played or in the Blind Forest, I know it's like so many people say it's like goaded, and so I was like, all right, well, I'm sure whatever they make is gonna be goaded too. Um. Alrighty. All right, all right. It is. I've played both. I, I I don't know a single person who's played Ori and didn't like it. So I was like, okay, well, and didn't like oh, it. Sorry. But clearly they they got they're onto something. You know what I mean? Um, one second as well. So I need to get to the character creation screen, and then I'll I'll show you guys what's up. I'll show you guys what's up. I'm so pumped, man. I can't, dude. They. I, okay, so to preface, I I actually didn't know 
a lot about it. Um, so I'm 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 as excited as you guys are, especially after that showcase. That showcase looks insane. If the, if the, if even half of that is there, I'm like, all right, well, it's done. All right. Um. Ish. Ish. Hold on, I gotta put this together real quick. Sorry, chat. One second. We'll jump into it in just a moment. Fear not. Fear not. Uh. What am I looking at here? All right. Why you shave your little baby? What do you want from me, all right? What do you want from me, chat? All right, chat, look at this honk of a man. Look at this dude. <laughs> ah, right, I, uh, I'm gonna play with the controller. I don't play with the controller. If I, if I can actually play with the controller, why the fuck not? Okay. Hello? My stream crashed. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's like, I don't know why I did that. It's a real country. All right, let's jump in. Let me play. <laughs> I want to play. All right. Oops, sorry. Ooh, that's my stream right now because it just died a second ago. <laughs> so it's true. The king is dead. Man. Long live the king. Can I be the king? He was a great man and a good friend. I, I will mourn him. We will mm -hmm. all mourn him. Your father's soul is at rest now, King Magnus. The people look to you for strength. I offer my condolences and my counsel, as I did for your father for the many great years. pestilence has returned, Lord Bowers. Uh, yes, I have heard the rumors. They're not rumors. Even now, it ravages the island of Sacra just off our own shores, turning their men and women into unspeakable things. The pestilence is a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. Oh. Is it now? How convenient. Yeah, that it does seem a little convenient. You're not the church, Madrigal. You're just the tip of its spear. Enough. Whatever the cause of this sickness, I cannot allow it to spread. My father has been weak. The animation is really it. I will begin my reign doing what he could not. My king, you are grieving. I must recommend against it. It's already done. <laughs> Tomorrow, Madrigal Selene and her Inquisition will set sail for Sacra. I promise we will cleanse the island of this wickedness. I have a bad feeling about these guys. Our king's faith was never in question. Ellsworth is a strong ruler, Your Grace. Sacra will recover. No. Sacra will be reborn. Okay. This is my responsibility to the king. Why the blonde one always got to be the baddie? <laughs> With God's hands, we will reach into every corner of the island and bring it like a newborn babe, screaming into the light. Okay. Right, yeah, because we, our ship crashed. That's why we're here. All right, all right. Come on, let me in. Let me run around. Dude, my arm's massive chat. It's it's crazy how they copied my, my real life build. All right, hold on. What am I doing on the settings front? I'm, I'm gonna make sure you guys, it looks good for you guys. Show stat numbers. Ooh, I do like that. Show damage numbers. Ooh, I do like that. Poise bars on enemies. That also sounds helpful. Can I, yes. Please. Frame rate cap? Uh, I probably should have that on. 
then graphics render scale oh my god wait is higher good probably right did you just change it already all right all right trying to kill a crab i guess four <laughs> great oh why to collect Except punch this, right? Dude, it looks so pretty. And the hit feels tough. Alright, A is to run. Okay, thank god for, thank god I discovered that. Alright. Requires pickaxe. <gasps> oh, I can run for an extra damage? Well, luckily, I paid attention during the, the cutscene chat, so I know that they're hiding the good stuff behind here. Oh. Alright. Okay, I did not get anything. What do I get in here? Oh, shit. Okay, whoa. Gain two health on damage to health, health decreased. Wait, that's a lifesteal ring. Take it. I got daggers now. Yo, okay. You've acquired a quick item. Hold the cycle between. Okay, got it. Is this some kind of soul? Can I take this? Oh, right. Okay. Ooh, I got an axe to chop wood. Dude, the animation is fucked. Why is it so good? What do you what what do you have that on? Huh? Your fishing rod. I can just take that one, huh? It looks so smooth. Yeah, I mean this is crazy for early access already. Like this is <laughs> this is ridiculous ridiculous. Okay. What's up? I knew it. <coughs> Should have never brought you on board. You'll never make it to Sacrament from here. This coast is crawling. If there is oh all right can you feel the waves can you feel them father we're back at sea all right cool oh i got a better sword okay so why let me check oh wait i can cycle between Oh, right button. Oh, I can change weapons on the fly. That's so nice. Yo. Okay. Fresh. Oh shit, an enemy. Oh shit, he actually hurts. I have stamina. Oh crap, I didn't even realize that. I've been wailing on everyone. Now, now die. Can I have your stuff? Focus. Hold to unleash your stuff. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I have an attack. Oh, that's neat. All right. Uh -huh. oh. Literally didn't pay attention to this. Show. What do you mean? I did. Oh, I got a fishing rod. Can I fish? How do I use it? The animations are so clean. Right? Oh, can I just go up to the water and fish? How do I fish? How do I do it? <laughs> what if I just walk in the water more? <laughs> I'll fish. Let's just fish right away. Let's see the real shit, you know? Like, what are we waiting for? Um... We controls. Now we're gonna look. Uh, all right, hold on. Oh crap! Hold on. Graphics. I mean, there's no controls. I guess I should figure it out. 
Oh, I stood on the stool. That's right. Oh, why to catch fish? I have to reel it in now? The resource has been depleted. What? Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Okay, now I just got a raw carp. Okay. That's neat. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, wait, can I... Oh, oh! Yo! Oh, Jesus. I can just jump across like that. I think I wasn't supposed to do it that way. <laughs> but that was sick nonetheless! Okay. Wait, can I actually do this? This doesn't feel like I should be able to do this. Okay, let's let's cross the beam and let's see if it does. Oh, okay. It definitely was meant to go around that slowly, and not the way I did that. It did tell me to do it slowly, but actually it's really tough. It's wide a slide. Oh. The stream go down? Yeah, my stream crashed. Frustratingly. Uh, nothing more frustrating as a streamer than your stream crashing. Uh, oh, you guys have... What is going on here? Okay. That's the block. Okay, I got it. I should try it. Goodbye. What did he have? Just an apple? Yeah. Welcome, Raiders. I'm gonna try and parry him. Oh god, the timing is tough. Oh god, I didn't do it. <gasps> Might die. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh! No, I'm cringe. Where am I? Oh man. Oh man. At least all the crabs are still here. Me and my crab friends. What's the, what's roll? I gotta find out what roll is. I don't know what roll is yet. Oh, hey. Oh. oh. I can just push him off. Yeah, that's right. The guy, the, the thing told me to do it. I could have just done it. I could have pushed him off, but I'm a baby. Oh my god, bro. This guy's crazy. Is that not a block? I can't do it. I can only do it for- Okay, I want to block this man. As if that wasn't a block, bro. Oh, come off it! Holy shit, this guy's cracked! I'm rolling! I'm pressing roll! Chat, I'm not boosted. Only access problem. Not my fault. <laughs> it's definitely not me. It's definitely the early access, not me. Guys, please. Only boosted. Guys, it's a game it's a game for skilled gamers, okay? And the part about being a skilled gamer is learning. Alright? You guys wouldn't know that. That's what they asked me to play, not you guys. Fishing pole, surely. Okay, Al, Al, Al. I'm out in the chat, he missed chat. Oh, L, L, L. What's this? Give me my loot. Can be. Oh, wow, okay. Scrap bomb. That's interesting. 
Oh my god, dude. There's a lot of these dudes, actually. Holy! Uh... Oh, I got, I got the right mouse button. I got the charge. Why can't I do it? Well, oh, because I'm not charged up. Right. Now I can do it. Okay, let's try it. Oh! Oh! Roll. Okay. Oh my god. He hits me more than I hit him. What the? Alright, leveled up. Alright, no more bullying now. You've gained a level. Each time you level up, your strength increases slightly and you gain three attribute points. Oh, oh, I gotta... Okay, hold on, hold on. What does it do? What does it do? It's purple, so it's bad. Damage taken increased by 20. Chance to gain 10% health. Let's try it. Okay, I got skill points too. Cool. Parries. I gotta learn how to parry. My parrying skills right now leave a lot to be desired, unfortunately. I knew there'd be something in there. Your weight class is heavy. It's been changed to a slow roll. All dodging press armor to perform a shoulder barge. Oh, I'm a heavy class now. That's interesting. Is that because I'm hefty? I'm strong? Oh shit, look at that. That's a cool ass. Okay, I just I let him hit me. Okay, okay. Oh. Damage increased by 20%. Focus gain increased. Health regeneration. Health regeneration sounds swag. Oh, it is very slow, though. Holy. <laughs> Fuck. No. Oh, man. My damage increase now must be crazy. I must have like 50% damage increase on myself. Also, I definitely look slower, right? I'm not crazy. I've got like a triple damage increase on myself. Maybe that's a bad idea. Wait, can I? Oh, actually, wait, can I? Can I? I have the bomb, right? Where's the bomb that I picked up? Can I? Sign this? Okay, what if I just... Throw a bomb over here, right? I definitely... Oh. I need a, I need a mess hall key. I just thought it'd be hype if I bombed them. Thirteen. Okay, that definitely increases the multiplier. I think this guy needs to die, though. He's a problem. Okay, well... Okay, that was very satisfying. Holy shit. I'm sold. That's all I want to do ever now. This is sick. Alright. Alright, lads, what's up? Alright, lads. Alright. All right, let's do a charge. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Why is he not dying from the fire? Thank you, stranger. All right, what's up? I could sabotage the gate, keep more of these savages from reaching nice. walls. But I got my damn fool self trapped too. Suppose there's a reason I'm a blacksmith and not yeah. a soldier. Huh? If you ever need anything repaired, you come to me. Nothing I can't fit. Now here. This will Ooh. get yourself to sacrament. But keep a careful eye out. I heard some of these risens. Okay. Can I buy stuff? Oh, I can buy a lot of stuff from him. I can wear the staff? I kind of want... Wait, what? 
I don't mean to do that. Why do they, why do, they do that? I kind of want to see what the staff does. I think that would be tight. I just want to see what, like, spells I get. Um, how do I do spells? So I have, like, B? Oh, that is sick. Oh, you can't deny that's not sick, chat. Oh my gosh. Don't skip down. I didn't skip. I, I read it. I guess you guys aren't as fast as me, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm a moron. Oh, hell yeah. Oh! What is in here? What does it do? Why is it red? Is that bad? Rune attacks deal 18% bonus damage. Okay. Can't use probably. Ah, uh, yeah, true. Alright. Looks like this is the way. Ah, uh, maybe there's a gate we can open up here. Oh, dude, the parry is really tight. Oh, you have to time it, like, perfectly. Okay. Right here, then. Alright. Okay. That guy's up there. Let's run. Let's do the thing they did in the, the showcase. Oh my god, not die! No! The sword is good, but I ran out of fucking stamina running up there. Jesus, I suck. Yeah, that's what they did in the showcase, alright. This is not what they did in the showcase, just in case you couldn't tell. Just in case it wasn't obvious. Okay, at least this guy's dead. Right, all, the guy, all the dudes I killed are dead. Which is good, and there seems to be no punishment at the moment for, for doing what I just did. Alright. Goodbye. Okay, the parry. God, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful system. It feels so good. It feels amazing to hit. I feel like a, a god amongst men when I hit that. I can't parry that. Wait, I actually want to try. Okay, I cannot parry that. <laughs> Nearly died again. Even the rats look HD. <laughs> Western bridge key is needed. Fuck, I don't have that? Can rest and health. Oh hell yeah! Channel. Okay, let's channel it. Oh, that, that heals me. Got it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, what do they do? Oh my god, what? Uh, armor increased by 10%, cold resistance increased by 5. I mean, that's just, yeah, let's go with that. That's great. Cool. That's neat. Hell yeah. Oh! Am I going? This is where this is where I needed to go, right? The gate. Oh, maybe I can sneak around here. Hey, right, where is this area? I got a key for the gate. It's presumably open somewhere. 
Look at this. Oh, I can sneak around up there. Oh, I'm an idiot. Did I need to... Ah. Jump? Oh, you can't jump from what I'm understanding. I can only, like, go up to ledges and interact with them. Like this. I can only, like... Oh, shit. Clueless. Thanks to the torch. Not a gamer, bro. Oh, there it is. That was interesting. Uh, there's just not enough yellow paint. As you could fix that. <laughs> you just put more yellow paint there, I would have seen that, so. Just, uh, something to consider. Oh, this is heavy. Holy, okay. Oh, there ain't no way I didn't dodge that. Romboned. Okay, this guy's kind of crazy. Okay, let's do this. And then let's uh, hit him with one of these. Oh, God! Don't hit him with one of those. God, he can do that to me. <laughs> All right, GG. That was well played. Okay, that's fun there. I'm fucking in. I'm in. Oh. Bro, I'm so into this. Okay. These are like no different. Am I, am I at my weight capacity? I don't know what I'm at. Should I refresh the stream? Yeah, my stream crashed. Crashed when I plugged my controller in. Which I'm sad about. Alright. What are we running to, huh? I mean, you gotta pull the lever, right? Oh, I'm going up. Alright. Oh, is it crab chowder? Okay. Hit me. Okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh shit, climbers pick. Alright, that sounds interesting. Ooh, chip sapphire. Yeah, this is pre recorded. It's not pre recorded. I, <laughs> I wish I could have played this sooner. Be careful, Laura. Ooh. Someone's coming. What's up? A serum. Forgive my father. Mr. Keith from the Risen. If you make for sacrament, there are worse things than bandits up ahead. Okay. The great beast is loose in these glades. They say it used to be a man. Uh. I wanted to go after it. The father says. The father <laughs> says the torn are not to be trifled with. <laughs> He's right. Father knows what's up. Alright, where are we going? Well, I can go up here. Oh, you always gotta go up, you know what I mean? Oh, they said that you can climb everything that looks like you can climb it. Bro. Oh shit, this is bad. Oh god. No, die. I need you to die kindly. Hey, no way. I didn't block that. Bye. Bro, this map looks amazing. What the fuck is that thing? Oh shit. This thing looks strong. What the? Oh 
Oh my god, the timing of this guy is hard. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Okay. That was close. Money. Where am I going? Like, I went the optional way and it feels like I'm exploring like a totally different world. Oh no! What the heck is that thing? I can't, can I pause? Does it pause? I'll find out if I die. I have, I have strength. Oh, it's not pause, he's definitely moving. No, no, I, I need to level up. I think, um, I maybe should have specced into, like, some defense or something. Holy! Um... Okay. I see. So I think the way to beat him is to just get good, which I will now proceed to show you how to do, chat. So, watch closely. Why am I going the other way? Okay, fine. I guess I'll I'll go the other way. Let's see where this goes. Wait, no, I don't want to go in the ocean. Wait, I can't. Oh, another chest. I forgot to put the thing down first. I'm an idiot. Oh. I just jumped into it right away. I didn't think, chat. No, am I on the other side of the entire map? Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, the devs are probably watching this and laughing at me. As they should. No. Oh, I'm a moron. Look how far away I am. Ugh. The devs, I think you should patch that out. Again, if there was some yellow paint there, that would, that would not have happened. You flat out wouldn't have happened. Your game. I mean, it's your game, man. <laughs> All right, well, let's continue on. It was a shiny thing. It's always shiny things. It's the thing about shiny. Th oh my god, I thought that was a boss. Did you guys think that was a boss? I thought that was like some kind of like, uh, like fucking giant monster. Okay, I don't, I don't know when it goes up and when it goes down, but happy to just be here. <laughs> happy to just be a part of it. Did I just... Okay, I didn't. Okay, I was worried there. All right, well, I'm going to go up again. I want to kill that guy because I felt like I had it. He just kind of got a little lucky. <laughs> um... the life steal not a whole lot of stealing of the life going oh, is this live of course it's live what are you what all right okay um i'm gonna check my inventory real quick because i think i want to i want to check if i'm i've got a right setup here honestly i think maybe taking this ring off 
Damage taken. This is so much. I feel like I just don't put that on. And also, I think I just put a different ring on. Oh, I can have two rings. Oh. Okay, um... Well, let's try with the spells. We should do spells. I think spells is how I... How I'm gonna play this. I think I just... <laughs> play it like a little baby. Get a little one-up on him. Oh shit, he saw me. He totally saw me doing that. That didn't do a whole lot to him. I'm gonna be real chat. Okay, that's a large range. Oh god, you do that to me? Okay. I got him, Chad. I got I got it. I got him. My frames? Oh my god, he's got a lot of attacks. <laughs> a lot of attacks for one guy. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, there's, I don't think there's any benefit to holding that cast time. Oh, maybe it is. I, I actually don't. I can't tell. stuff. Azure Blade, one-handed weapon. I don't think I'm high enough level to use it there, right? I leveled up too. I think I need more stamina. This is already annoying me. I did not level up. Okay, I gotta be level... Why can't I... I have to put one into book. Okay. I guess they're making me not allowed to have my strength. No brain. Comp. Which is fair. Oh, armor increased by 10. Perfect. Let's put that on. Okay, this time, Connor, don't forget. Kick down the ladder. All right. Go down this time. Oh, this oh my god, that was a safe point. <laughs> no! No! Oh, I mean, yes! Cast some fish, fuck it. I got a raw car. That sounds sick. I want to fight that. Oh, I should I should talk to this guy, huh? Okay, he's dead. <laughs> I won't talk to him. I won't. I'll let him rest. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Boss time. That's what we saw earlier. This guy looked really hard earlier. <laughs> So, let's see if he's actually that tough. Okay, okay, definitely, uh, let's get him, let's get rid of all this stuff first. It's all in my way. Let me just, the feng shui is all off of this battlefield. Could you get rid of this one, please? Yeah, thank you. Okay, ow, ow. You didn't have to get rid of me, though. Okay. Let me show him. Okay, not sure. Get parried. Holy... This is kind of sick, alright. Oh, I parried that. I just, I just showed it. I just don't know how to tell you I did that. I did parry that. Officer right here, I parried it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> No! 
No, no, no. Oh, no! Come on! I parried, bro. I parried. What are you? Who are you? Oh, Felma, what's up? Safe for camping out here. You let me know if you need anything repaired. Oh, sickening stench, isn't it? Or Alright, can I, can I, can I sell this shit? Well, I don't want this, I'll be honest with you. Actually, I want the pick. That sounds good. The club. I don't want the club that much. Yeah, these, these all sound great. Wait, the crow ring is actually worth... I, I had that. I think I just got a little, I got a little scared and I started panicking, which is like the easiest thing to not do. Um... Uh, I got him this time, man. Oh, bro, I, I want to parry him so bad. Come on, Connor. Okay, you have to actually press the parry button there. Okay. <laughs> Not a great second attempt. Not a great second attempt. Not a great one. The third is always the best one, though. We all know that. Okay, I definitely blocked that. Okay, I did it too early again. Yeah, damn it. Okay, now I actually just straight up can't block. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. You know, the fourth attempt honestly is my favorite one. Four seasons, four attempts. Um, really notorious for being the best, generally speaking. First try. Yeah, well, you know, first try, second try, ninth try. Come on, bro. Come on. Oh, when he parries, he jumps back. That's interesting. Oh, I, I gotta not overcommit to the attacks. That's what's, that's what's doing me in here. Oh, fuck. Um, let's see. Wait, can he fix my items? Is my shit broken? No, it is not. Oh, he just did it for free. Ah. Okay, so I have to be really careful. I think, um... I need to not overcommit attacks. That's what's causing me to... All right, bro, I, I parried that. 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 <laughs> I just, I just, I mean, I just, I parried that, you know what I mean? Like, I just, that's crazy. I want to parry him so bad, chat. No words can describe how badly I want to parry him. Yeah, my controller disconnected, actually. That's crazy that happened right now. Okay, I parry. That was, that was a parry angle. Good. Oh, come on. Oh, that was actually... Actually, parry that was... I should... The goal, Chad, is to consistently parry. Um, maybe I can't even parry. I don't know. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, you know I'm going to roll. Okay, I don't, okay, I'll do that. Right okay, nice. Oh. oh, that delayed attack is dirty. Oh my god, bro. Oh my. Okay, how much does give me? Nothing? What was this one? Nothing again? Oh, I, I what? Critted the air. I'm fat rolling, boys. Oh, I'm scared, bro. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, give me an apple. How do I, how do I shop to an apple? The lottery didn't do shit for me. Oh my gosh. What? what? Okay, how do I actually change? Okay, like that. How do, I don't even know how much an apple gives me. I slowly regen because of the uh, armor I have on, but... 
need to, I need to dodge more. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that is like last second dodging. Nice. Gonna hit him. Oh my gosh. No. 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 Oh my gosh. that. Bro, my nose is itchy. Why? It's very doable. It's so telegraphed. Listen, whenever you watch anyone play games like this, it's always so telegraphed when you're watching. When you're in the driver's seat chat, like me. Okay, I'm trying to... I'm trying, I'm, I want to parry him. Come on. Bro. Okay, that was a parry, though. That last one. I, you know what's annoying now? Is that I was one... I was one hit away. I was one hit away. Oh, Jesus Christ. My first attempt, one hit away. I'm, I'm sunsetting, chat. Into it. Oh shit, I, I, I overrolled. Oh my god, bro. Fuck, stop that. I rolled, what the heck? Oh, come on. No, I'm, I'm losing it. No. No, I had it. I lost my rhythm there. The dodge is kind of interesting because it's kind of delayed. I mean, it's not delayed, it's, uh, it's buffered between my attacks. But it's not like instantaneous after an attack. It's like I swing. And then it's like a short roll afterwards. Oh, man. I got hit for you. I got hit for hit. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have this. I had this, but now I just don't have this. That's crazy how I had it. Twenty percent damage increase isn't helping you. Do I still have that on? Let's try this. Come on, parry it. Huge. Wait, the parry immediately chunked it. Whoa, look at this. Look at this health, bro. Wait, parry's it. What the heck? The double parry? Whoa, what? Whoa, what? Wait. The parry route was the route the entire time. I need more intelligence to, like, wield stuff, chat. Wait, that's crazy.
That that double parry back to back. What's up? What's up, guys? State your business quickly. Don't think just because you failed the beast, you're an ally. Yeah, true. It's all right, Winnick. I apologize for the lack of hospitality. Right, My yeah. friend here has his shirt up for good reason. Once the raiders took the old fortress, their bloodshed has drawn more and more of those things towards our city. Oh, that's not good, is it? How did you manage to slay that monstrosity? Well, let's try actually. Oh my but... God, your serum. The Watcher's call has been answered. Ha! I told that old coot he was wasting his time. For once, I'm glad I was wrong. Serum, in mm -hmm. the flesh and on our island. <laughs> I thought you'd be taller. Your kind's welcome within our walls. I trust you'll find a home here. Yay. Seek the Watcher, up in the rookery. Welcome to Sacrament. Oh! This is the place we can build, we can get the home. The voice acting's good. Yeah, the voice acting's great. And I mean, I'm kind of blown away by a lot of the games so far. For an early access game, I mean, just from what we saw there, it's crazy. Thanks for playing. No! I can't play more? No! Well, let me play more! Turn to the main menu. Alright. Oh, wait, do I, can, I, can I show this part? Wait, can I, is there more I can see? Uh, wait, do I have to, do I have to remake a character? I do. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Let me make another character, and I want to see the other area I didn't check out. I mean, back to the Chad dog. Not Chad. Great. Realm, big realm. All right. What does this look? Don't worry about my look. Don't worry about your own look, all right? My looks figured out. I my, my looks sick, right? Let's finish it. Yeah, I think I, I think I, I think I beat it too fast. I'm too much of a gamer, actually. Can I skip this at all, or I can't? I can't skip it again. I have to watch it again. Okay, that's. Well, it was a great cutscene. So second time around. Well, I wanted to see the other area, so I'm gonna go see the other area that I missed because we just totally ignored one whole area of the map. I didn't realize that it would stop the game if I did that. So it's true. The king is dead. Oh, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being sent something, chat. Friend. Uh, apparently, I, I speed ran the boss accidentally. <laughs> Your father's soul is at rest now, King Magnus. The people look to you for strength. Well, if you didn't see it, he has to watch it again. I offer my condolences and my counsel, as I did for your father for The Great years. Pestilence has returned, Lord Bowers. We already hear about this, yes, chat. We already know about the Pestilence. The rumors. They're not rumors. We killed him. Even now, it ravages the island of Sacra just off our own shores. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Why did we stop? <laughs> unspeakable things. So I beat the boss. The Pestilence is a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. Is it now? How convenient. You question the church. You're not the church, Madrigal. You're just the tip of its spear. Enough. Mm. Whatever the cause of this sickness, I cannot allow it Fact to Fact pre-recorded in looping? No. <laughs> no. I'm stuck in an infinite loop. But at least the game is amazing. <laughs> My king, you are grieving. I must recommend against it's aid. already done. The Lord died again. Oh, and <laughs> an inquisition will set sail for Saturn. I can't believe he died twice. This wickedness. Our new king's faith in the church is well placed. Our king's faith. It's so BM that it, <laughs> it deleted my other sails. <laughs> Your 
I could I I got too good and it was like alright, delete it. Get rid of it. Fuck this guy. <laughs> you can go for it all again. Actually, I'm interested to see if the loot I get is different though, actually. With God's hands, we will reach into every corner of the island. Alright, we already yeah, we know that. And bring it like a newborn babe. I did parry. I did kind of pop off when I parried. Screaming into the light. Um I didn't go um Can we go attack speed build this time? If we find daggers that are good. I'm down. This is a cool start. Alright, let's run it. Let's run it. Uh, I didn't eat any of the crab la crabs uh, earlier. I don't know if I needed those. Crabs are chill. They don't fight back. I feel bad for them. No, I don't. I don't. I lie. I don't feel bad. If I feel bad, I wouldn't do it. I'm not really much used to picking up the money, really. Alright, what I get? What I get? Oh, I did get something different this time. Oh, that is different. That's interesting. I need to level up for those daggers, though. But I do get XP for hitting these guys. Okay, can I use the axe at all? I mean, that's just, that's literally great all around. That gave, wait, that gives so many buffs. Attack stamina cost, movement speed increased by four, stamina sprint cost. Jesus. Wait, that's so good. Wait, all right, hold on, hold on. I, gotta, I also gotta, I, I wanna test the chopping mechanics. I wanna put this axe chopping mechanic to the, to the, to see if it actually holds up. All right, let's have a look. All right, that's pretty good. Pretty good. How's the fall? How's the fall, though? Let's have a look. I want to see how it falls. Okay. Okay, you can see the tree deforming. All right, how's the fall? Let's have a look. Oh, that's a good fall. That's a pretty good fall. Yeah, that's a pretty good fall, all right. All right. You didn't say timber. It doesn't count. Okay. Right, I gotta get the question this guy. Oh. I will take your body. Thank you. The full game releasing. No, next month the early access is released. So I think it'll be like um more than I, I don't actually know, but I, I'm assuming that they're gonna keep updating it. Uh, and should be maybe this section. Maybe a little more, I don't know. Either way, I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. Can I parry with my bones? Can I do that? Let's try it. I can parry my bones. Greatest tool of all. Uh, I should probably equip the sword. I did not equip it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I get in this chest. Oh, there's a thing in there. I didn't, I didn't see that one. Bro, I'm getting way better stuff already. I need to up my okay, intelligence. Why do I need to be intelligent to use daggers? Yo, I didn't see this at all last time. What the heck? What the? This is like a whole new area. <gasps> Don't stab yourself accidentally. Well, I'm pretty good at... Okay, how do I jump across here? Oh, did it. 
What the? What the heck? <laughs> All right, that's not how. That's uh, not how you do that. No, not how you do it. Not how you do it. You knew it? Oh, come off it. You didn't know it. You didn't know it. Oh my god, you didn't know shit. Yeah. Alright. I did it for money. Oh my lord, really? Okay, let's push him off. No, okay, okay. Oh, I, I wanted to tank that, and I just face tanked it. <laughs> Why doesn't parrying do half your health, huh? Oh! This guy sucks. Do that again, do that again. Bro. Why does he have to do so much damage to me and I don't do anything to him? Huh? Oh, and my, my delicious, my delicious soups. My delicious soups. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I stand on this bridge, right? Here's, here's how I, I bait him in. Bait him in, bait him in, bait him in. Alright, I go here. And then I push him off. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll. Okay, okay, hold on. This is not... This... Come on. Come on, no, no. No. Not... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, the plan, though... Kinda good. You don't think you can push him off? I can. I can. I can push him off. I think he's the one pushing you. No, no, I'm... <laughs> I think I'm pushing him. To the limit. To the limit of what man is possible of doing. Alright, come over here. Oh, yeah, wait, he is. He's not falling off. Him completely. Fuck all. Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Bro, that move sucks. That wombo combo he does, not good for me. Oh, I, no. Come over here. You won't. I just get to eat for free. Oh, he actually came over? What the fuck? No. No, bro, that move sucks! Come on, fall down, fall down, fall down. How? Huh? This guy's magic! Parry this? Get parried. 
No. Oh my gosh. Holy. <laughs> okay, okay. I need to level up intelligence and dexterity. And then I'll, I'll throw some points into stamina. It never hurts, right? Now I, can, now I can do this. Singular purpose. This one's better. Okay, let's do, let's do the dagger build this, this run. Oh god, I nearly fell. Whoa, I'm so much faster with this. Equip load increased by 16%. Oh, that's useful. Huh. I can't really do anything yet. Let's fall down here. Let's see what happens. Okay, I can't go up there. Originally, I came from over here. It's interesting. Um, okay. I didn't find the key to the other area. When I came in here, I, I killed this guy. What are the charges on this? Oh, oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's neat. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's such a way better attack than the other one. Come on, then. <laughs> oh, shit. This guy's got hands. Oh, dude, I gotta be careful. I'm about to die. Dude, the dash I get is crazy with this. Oh! Just kind of using his true British knife. Average London greeting. <laughs> no, that's not true. I gotta parry him. Oh, bro, I would have parried the other one. Whoa! Yo! What did I just do? Wait, that was awesome. What the fuck? That was sick. What did I get? Okay, so there's something there. You reckon I can... If I can get up there, I can fall down. and Maybe that's something of use. That was so cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't do this earlier, did I? Storage room key. Ow. Huh, there's a lot of things I, I'm missing, I, it seems. I should go heal up at the thing. Okay. Got the storage room key, which is the other one I didn't get earlier, right? Okay, much already it. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Um So I gotta go back to where I was. Because I missed a bunch of stuff. Oh, dude, I wanna parry with the shield. I really want to parry with the shield now. Time to meet your goal. Oh, 
I wanted to backstab again, too. That was crazy. Oh, I thought I would do it. Oh, yo! Okay, hell yeah. Dude, I love that. That is so fun and so satisfying. I'll make it quick. I promise. Oh, blocking still does damage. Rip Bozo. Dude, is this like down there, you reckon? Nice. Hell yeah. I got another shield. Okay, I already have one of those. Pretty good in that front. Western Bridge Key. I don't even have that one. I don't think I even got that earlier. Maybe it's like that thing somehow. I don't have a storage key. I didn't even see where I could use that last time. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking hmm. Wait, what's down here? Cold resistance increased by four. I'll we'll take it. All right, red buzzer. He's literally a mushroom. <laughs> Where am I going? Wolf kidney. Delightful. What's up here? Ah, yes, this thing I need to touch. Because every time we touch, I get the feeling <laughs> that I'm gonna need this because I'm gonna die. That was nice. So that was nice. That was nice because I just killed him and he died. My backstab. <gasps> Yo, dude, man, that, <laughs> that is so fun. I love that. Dude. I'm so sold on it, bro. I'm so sold. I'm so sold. Okay. How do I increase the damage of this? Like, is what I'm... Scales with... Oh, so it scales with dexterity. So if I, if I spec more into dexterity, it does more damage. Okay, let's try it. Connor, did you expect to get this bullied for shaving? Uh, yeah. Be with also, this game does look cool. Uh, yeah, this... Hold on. Uh, I, I, I mean, when I shaved, I knew I was going to get bullied, which is why I didn't really want to do it. But I thought, well, you know, what kind of, what kind of YouTuber would I be if I don't actually, like, commit anything to making videos? Can't go, like, one week without having f hair on my face? Oh my gosh, these guys are scary. Well, dude, I did not find this area before. This is very helpful. They're pushing me this way. 
Oh, okay. Oh my god, I lied. It's not helpful at all. This sucks for me. Hey, 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 hey. Cut it out. No, no, no. You have to die. Alright, Phil, what's up, bro? What's up? What's cooking? What's cooking? Thank you. But I got my dad. Suppose there's a... If you ever need anything now, yes. Give me. I'll take all the food you have. I can only afford two. I'll take two of the foods you have. <laughs> I'll take two singular foods. How do I use... Okay, backstab. I go behind him. There. I'm just knife. Does it do more damage than what I have? No. But there's a gear chest. Oh, so let's give it something. Oh man, I'm getting like not no like cool weapons I want to test out. I, I actually wanted to do that, so that works out nicely. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. That's so fun to do. Keep backstabbing them, I wonder. Oh my gosh, bro. I can. Oh. I mean, it's kind of hard not to think the daggers are the best now. I mean, I just, I just feel like they are the best. Why do I keep- I, that's, I've gone up to this button four times and I've rolled into it every single time. <laughs> I mean, the daggers are just the best, right? I mean, they're just- <laughs> Speaking about good videos, you should do one with an animal rescue, bring awareness and good excuse to finally get a cat. <laughs> the, the, hey, I don't need an excuse to get a cat. I need an excuse for my landlord to let me have a cat. Uh, and uh, I, that's not happening. <laughs> we are in uh, Japan. Okay, so I'm going to go back down here, touch this thing again. I want to go and explore in the water, because I think I can actually go... It looks like I can go across here somehow. I can. What the heck is this? What the heck? Bro, there's like a whole nother area. Oh my god, get my shit rocked. Okay, hold up though. Hold up though. This is... Like, what? Yeah, 
The animation of the outfits. Yeah, dude. The, the, all the animations in this are so goddamn smooth. Can I sneak up on them? Okay, they, not if they see me in the face. Ah. Okay. German, German, I propose a truce. While I stab you in the back. Ah, yes, that rock. A beautiful rock that was. I just wanted to spend a few more minutes admiring its marvel. That one down. Bro, oh, come on. Fourth grade resource. Is that better than what I got? No. Well, I'm gonna go heal up. I'm about to level up too. Dude, this, this, these daggers feel so good. I couldn't backstab them, but I, I wanted to. And that's worth something. How do we get up there? If you see it, you can dream it. These guys are a lot less scary when they're alone. <laughs> but this is one of them. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot more manageable. Oh god, one of these guys. Backstab him. Come on, do the thing. This is not a backstab, bro. Right out of there. <laughs> oh, come on. This is the backstab central. Come on. One-handed straight sword. I want to try a two-handed weapon. I don't really want to try a uh, one-handed. Two-handed, though, that would get me kind of pumped up a little bit. Cook at the fire pit. What can I cook? Any advice for being good at a variety of games? You are always good at new games like your older brother, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> Just get it done. Just get it done. It's so cool you can cook at the fires like that. That's neat. All right, what's down here? Oh, this is where I came in. Wait, I could have just gone this whole way this entire time? Alright, what is this? Okay, so... There's this area, but I swear there was more over here. No, I'm dumb. Okay, I'm thinking of the other area. I still never found that room. That key to that room. I know, I know I had a shovel. I don't particularly care. There's vines here. We can go across this whole area like this. This happened exactly the same way earlier. I tried to get this guy and he backed off. GG. Don't waste my time next time. Blood rusted sword. Oh, that's sick. I, how do I get over there? That's what I want to get to. Uh, I don't think I can, right? Oh, hold on. That's some company. Oh, 
I really felt like that was a backstab. I guess the game doesn't perceive how I feel and doesn't take that into account. Alright. Jump? I definitely cannot jump that. Um, well, at least I can kill the big guy again. Maybe I missed something around here. Well, this guy definitely wasn't here before. Why do they... I hit them when they're down. It's so annoying. Ah. Maybe if I kill one, the other one goes. Okay. Oh, maybe there's uh Maybe we can get on this. Oh, fuck this guy. Oh, I thought for some reason he wouldn't spawn. Dude, that is such an annoying combo. Backstab him. There's charge attacks. I just learned this now. Yeah, he doesn't backstab him for whatever reason. Too big? Yeah, probably. Okay, can I? I really want to get over there. I think I can get over there. There's got to be a way I can get over there. I just don't believe there's not a way. Well, this obviously I can kick. Maybe it's trying to tell me something, you know? <laughs> I don't think it's trying to tell me that. I, you know, I, I think that it could have been telling me something. Uh, but it definitely wasn't that. There's, de there's definitely a way across there. There has to be. Monkey don't believe in ladders. Monkey jump. Monkey do. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go up this way. Right? Where I, and, I, and it allowed me to... Maybe I can do some kind of... Oh. Ah. Maybe I can do some kind of jumping help. Okay, with that... Now you see, that did look like a platform. I don't know if I'm crazy. That did just... Did that not... Uh, did that not look like a platform to you guys? Okay. How about... Yeah, how about we do it like this? Hmm. Yes. I just realized, why am I doing it this way? <laughs> it's it's 4 a.m. chat, all right? It's 4 a.m. Okay, cut me a break here. It's interesting how, like, the floors on the platforms are even different based on which direction you're trying to go in. So I think I went this way earlier, right? And I didn't have this up. Why didn't I have that up? Yeah, why is that not broken? It, like... Oh. Weird, just trying to figure this out. It is kind of driving me insane. <laughs> Maybe 
this is... Ow. No, I was like, maybe there's something over here. Fuck, I just did the dumb thing. I jumped off before kicking the ladder down again. Oh! I did it again. I did it again. 4 a.m. is where Pete gets good. <laughs> it's, it's, that's, it's, called, it's called midday for, for Pete. 4 a.m. is midday. I, I, I often meet Pete for dinner at like 7.30 p.m. And he's like, yeah, I just, just woke up, man. I'm like, what? Like, yeah, man. This looks too good. Just woke up, man. <laughs> okay. All right. You sure, Pete? You sure? Well, I couldn't find the key. Uh, and I'm probably going to wrap up here in a second, chat. But, I mean... I still feel like even though I did the boss, I still haven't explored much. Like, what? I didn't even see this. What is this? Why do they just not see this? What, what is this? How do I scrap some of this stuff, huh? How do I... Uh, sure. What? It was cold damage on parry. You playing? I want to, but I'm also tired. Um. Oh yeah, what's up? Okay, I want to parry them. That's kind of cringe. That other people go through. And that one too. Oh shit! Look at that cold damage. That's kind of sick. That's so cool that your parry can inflict, like, damage effects or status effects. Um, but that's going to be it for me, chat. Uh, I'll just put the skill points in, sure. Um, that was a lot of fun. I am pumped. I actually really can't wait for that full game to come out. I think this game's going to be really fun. No rest for the wicked. Link in the chat and uh, as well as in the comments. Uh, and if you're watching this on the VOD, you know, there'll be some things there too in the descriptions down below. Um, I mean, there'll be multiplayer as well, which I think would make it so good. I can't wait to play this multiplayer. Uh, add it to your wish list. Go check out the link. Connor, it's your beard. It comes out on you April need to let go. 18th. The accident wasn't your fault. April 18th, chat. April uh, 19th, sorry. April 19th for early access on PC. Go to the link. Go and get it. Uh, if you, you know, I mean, the game spoke for itself. It It is clearly a banger. I'm actually very pumped. That was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you so much for them letting me play this. Uh, to let me show, show this off. I mean, this was like awesome. This was genuinely like a really cool game and I can't wait to see the full game. Very pumped. All right, guys. Uh, that's going to be me though. I'm going to go to bed. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna wake up at like nine, so I'm not gonna get a lot of sleep, but I, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream nonetheless. Uh, Thor's still going? Thor trolled me so hard today. He trolled me so hard. Oh, Kaho's online. Um, we're at Kaho, because I just did a video shoot with Kaho recently. Um, so I'm gonna show Kaho some love. Um, appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching the stream. I had a great time. I hope you did too. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. I'm not pretty not going to stream for the rest of the weekend. I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one. Rest up, guys. Bye. And thank you so much again. Once again, no rest for the wicked for sponsoring the stream. It was a lot of fun. I had a, I had a great time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.